Hello and welcome to Who Lives Who Dice. I'm not Matt Bateman. Uh, we're having a bit of a special one this week. Uh, we're giving our forever long-suffering DM a bit of a time off. Ooh. And <laughs> yes, thank you. And he is going to sit here and learn what it's like to be on the other side of the screen of death. So, uh, is that what you guys call it? No, it's what I'm calling it now. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm David Cox, and I am joined once again by my utterly fantastic friends and comrades. We have the storied beauty, Sasha Bergwijn. We have the juicy knockout, Jeffa Creek. We have the ravishing radiance that is Rose Red on. And we have the most beguiling, Matthew Bateman. How you doing, Matt? I'm, I don't like this. No? <laughs> this is weird. This Why? Is, yeah, because I'm, just, I'm being just, nice? Yeah, or yeah, sat there? I'm just looking up, and it's, it's, it's a weird. I keep looking across. I just keep catching Sasha's eye. And yeah, that's fair. I am getting a bit of a god complex up here. Yeah. Well, so I feel like I get yeah, it. I almost feel like I'm in danger after yeah. killing Rose's character last week. I feel like there's not enough space. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, uh, great How did you not notice? I didn't until then. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, it's good. Simple. It's good. It's, it's, nice. it's nice to be sitting here. I've already learned a lot about what it's like to be down with the players. For so, anyone yeah. else who can't see, it says, guess I'll die. Guess I'll die. <laughs> we did roll a natural one. All right. Uh, well, <laughs> so we're going to have uh, just a bit of a change from normal. Give Matt an opportunity to play. This is going to be random one-off. It is taking place in the world of Aralest, so everything oh, you see here shit. does actually yeah. happen. But we're going to begin with the thing that all of you hate, which I now get to inflict. <laughs> it's question time. Oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, we already do that for Matt's game. <laughs> Why make us do now? However, the best bit is oh. that it's Matt <laughs> that we're going to ask the question. Yay! Yeah. Wait, you're asking me the questions or I have to come up with the questions? Both. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, so, Matt, you have to go to a wedding with one of the characters from the party. Sex if you is pick, implied. If you, pick, if you pick Mayway, you're taking a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> Weekend at Mayways. <laughs> what a vibe. D22, 100%. Sex is implied. Sex is implied. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't hear that part. Still D22, though. <laughs> Still D22. That pump action. I mean... Oh, say Alexi, like, we know you want to. Yeah. Alexi can watch. <laughs> He's going to watch it. I think Myla? Life of the party? No one's going to miss about. Yeah, but the minute you try, you'll get thunder waved into I don't know that. Uh, <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, Matt, you now have to ask someone a question. Oh, God. Uh, All right. Um, yeah. Oh, this is this is a lot harder when you put on the spotlight this, isn't it? It's yeah. not yeah. Yeah. It's not Of all the things, this is what I was looking for. No, yeah. uh, this is great. We can stop the session after this. Yeah. <laughs> this is, is, home. This no. is the whole... Yeah. Yeah. Just, like, all my notes just say, long. make Matt ask questions. <laughs> great. <laughs> great. Just over and over. Yeah, yeah. Bateman. Fine, fine. Um... Sasha slash Milo, what was the hardest decision you had to make in playing this campaign as a character? Ooh. Oh, uh, that is a very good question. Um, in character, I think it was probably um, whether or not to follow Cheryl through the, the archway, because I was just Ooh. sitting there being like, I don't know, do I go in? Do I follow her? Do I like stay out here and like wait for my friends? Like That was a real difficult one for Milo. Um, out of character, definitely deciding not to go back for Mayway in the last episode. Because like I while I was like, I know Mayway's dying, I was like, Myla has absolutely no idea and the most recent thing that she's kind of seen is, is Alexi, so she's gonna go after him. Like she thinks hopefully Mayway is safe. Um and that was so that was really hard from like an out of character perspective. But in character, it was a pretty easy decision. Does does Milo blame herself? Oh. Or if that's too deep, we can leave yeah. that for, for like yeah, another no, that's, time. I think like um, like I think she she kind of probably feels like everyone else feels, which is that they should have stopped Mayway from like going up there in the first place. But they sort of you know like we have this conversation. I think in the show, like Mila said, like I should have done something, and Alexi was like, well, you know, I did I did lose her coattails. Um, <laughs> And yeah, I think there's there's that element of it. I don't think she feels like she could have got there in time and saved her because that's sort of slightly different. But yeah, like if I'd have had metagaming privileges, then I'd have somehow got tried to get Myla to um, to Mayway. But yeah, no, as it was, I think that was that was pretty tricky. Good. 
Lovely little bit of light conversation there to start us off. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, uh, welcome, welcome, it. welcome. Um, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Am I yeah. done? You're done. Oh, thank God. Off you go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Matt, what's right. the heaviest thing that's happened to you in this uh, campaign? Really oh. <laughs> so, uh, with all that out of the way, uh, get yourself a drink. Sit down, put your feet up. He's You've doing, had a long day. He's doing the you thing. deserve it. He's doing the thing. And let's cut to tonight's episode of Who Lives, Who Dies. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Yeah, but we can cut that. Okay, cool. <laughs> Our adventure tonight begins with the four of you through either mistake, through random happenstance, or through planning, are all in the same carriage. You are making your way from the city of Aradon through the nearby neighboring village of Aradondorf and to the great manor overlooking the village. The carriage finally comes to a halt. It's getting to late afternoon, evening. The sun is set quite early. We're still in the middle of winter. And as the carriage comes to a halt, the four of you see, as you look just out of the window, the wonderful towering manor of House von Erdendorf. Coming down from the giant resplendent double doors you see a red carpet lining the stairs as carriages pull up stop uh, you see very very affluent very well dressed people in full suits uh, full dresses armor ceremonial practical all stepping out and heading up these red carpeted stairs towards the door one by one the doors are opened and Announces, announce, before people go in, the doors close, and it happens again. The four of you seem to be the last people arriving to Manor von Erdendorf. And as the carriage rider hops down, he opens the door. It's closest to your side. Opens the door and goes, All right, my lords, my ladies, well, you know, uh, if you just... Head out there and we'll, we'll let you in right nice and you'll have yourself a lovely evening, I'm sure. All right. And he just bows his head and very, very unsubtly, subtly of a brick, this man holds his hand out. I am. Um, I pop down and I give him a high five. Uh, right, right you are, sir. Thank I, you very much. Thank you, mate. Uh, he holds the door open. And as you hop out of the carriage, please describe yourself. Yes, I am um, uh, uh, quite a, a short, portly dwarf um, with a, a long black beard full of grey powder, sort of waddles up the stairs ahead, um, plopping along with a nice, a nice sort of dark breastplate and a, an orange sort of trim of the, a short, short cape. His hair's combed slightly to one side to hold a, hide a, a metal plate sort of dug into a, a bit of a, a crevice in the top of his head. Uh, he looks quite simple. He has a small hatchet on his hip, um, a long, uh, long cylindrical device on his back, and he's just, he's just looking around, quite happy, and sort of stops and wondering why his friends aren't following him. He's quite squat. He's a bit fat. He's very long arms. Doesn't really know why he's here. And he's terrible. Apparently, he sounds like this. But this is what we're going with. Hello, I'm. Uh, and he just sort of sits and waits and looks. Come on. Uh, the carriage driver bows his head, holds his hand out. Oh, may I help you, young? Yeah, that's not his voice. May I help you, young mouse? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Daddy! Daddy, come on, there's a palace. Calm down. Ah, oh, and a little boy hops 
out of the carriage, about nine years old, with brown hair, very neatly combed and parted, with a very, uh, very severe middle parting. (laughs) Picture, like, any Victorian child from some kind of scary movie, you know, yeah. uh, from an old, old hospital, yeah. yeah, yeah, with a little bow tie and wee little shoes, and just looking around with the most excitement, has a um, like a brown satchel, normal bag kind of thing to his hip that every now and again like moves a bit if anyone pays attention, and uh, a book. Also, like, strapped to the side of his hip underneath the bag. And just looking around with bright eye jubilance and turns to look and say, Daddy, come on! And as the child extends his hand, the carriage driver just, you know, looks at the small boy and looks and goes, Oh, that's a, that's a real good lad you got there. I do wish he'd calm down, but... Thank you! Youthful vigour being what it is. Right, well, uh, I believe this is uh, where you're all getting off, my lord. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, the hand goes out again. Daddy, pay him. <laughs> Hi. We've well, got to me. listen to children, they are the future. <laughs> I take a, a coin, I don't even look, I just reach in and grab one and place it in your hand as Geoffrey. <laughs> last name. As Jeffrey Huntington last name. Humboldt. Thank you, son. <laughs> Jeffrey Huntington Humboldt steps down. He's a very tall, very look down your nose sort of man. Absolutely no time for just the nonsense of my son. I do wish he'd calm down. Okay, so because we'll you're beat not it looking, out of him. <laughs> because just, you're not looking at yes. the point, we're going to roll a D8. Okay. One, two, yes. copper. Yes. <laughs> Three, four, silver. Yes. Five, six, gold. Yes. Seven, eight, platinum. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Silver. That's fine. <laughs> the uh, character looks at it and goes, <laughs> <laughs> shoves it in his back pocket. And as the two of you make your way up, following your dwarven comrade, uh, the carriage driver bows very deeply. He's like, um, as for you, my lady, thank you very much for taking a ride on my <coughs> carriage. My accent's changed again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And he offers his hand to you to help you down. Yep, I take it. And uh, as he helps you down, bows his head, hand goes out. Uh, oh, yes, of course. Um, she, she goes into like a little satchel, um, brings out a little box, opens the box, takes out a sandwich, pops it in his hand. Um, she goes, Mum made those earlier. Um, they're very nice. He looks at it for a minute. She goes, and wanders off. Uh, can you please describe yourself. Yeah, so um, I am a young woman, probably in her sort of like late teens, early 20s. Um, it's slightly hard to tell, I'd say, because she's kind of, she's definitely dressed more youthfully than she is. Um, she's got long, long dark hair uh, that's kind of been like hastily swept up into a bit of a ponytail. Um, and she's wearing a a quite formal um, dress, but with leather armour over the top of it. Um, her mum says it really built up the colour in her cheeks. Um. And as you make your way up the carpeted stairs, uh, the four of you have kind of formed your sort of like line. Uh, you're at the front and the couple just in front of you are sort of an older looking elf and man and woman head in, the doors open, they're announced, they close, and as you reach the front, the announcer stands over and goes, Hello, sir, um, if you would be so kind, uh, you'll, I require your name, title, and place of residence. Oh, yes, I am. Um, wait a moment. Yes, of course. Um, Dazik, uh, Ashtank, um, Stonehurt. Wait, Stoneheart. Stone? Yes. R- right. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's. Yes. Yes. There's a cash tank. Uh, thank you. Hey, thank you, sir. He uh, turns to the two of you. Uh, my lord. Hello. <laughs> I suddenly realised we didn't discover. We didn't decide where we live, and I panicked, <laughs> and I forgot what the first half of the question was. 
Right. Yes. Um, hello. Oh, hello, young master. I'm Hugo Huntington Humboldt, and this is my daddy, Jeffrey. And this... And I open the little satchel next to me. I take out a couple of rats and I put one oh, and then the other one on my oh. shoulder. And this is Petrie and this is Ollie and Leo's in Leo. Okay, okay, Le- yes, Daddy, I, 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 Daddy. I thought I asked I, you to leave them at home. I, I no. Yes, um, Did Eustace not shake you down before we left? Eustace might be in here. Oh, wait, oh, the rat. Oh. <laughs> uh, right, right, you must right. stop naming your rats after the help. This is so. It's far too familiar. I didn't know rats were allowed. They're, 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 they're not. Um, they're, it, it, I, I, I like shrink into my father's legs a little bit just because these are strangers. And with stranger danger, very important. Very good, son. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. Daddy, who's this? I don't think we want to know. Uh, Though right, you're here well, as if, a if, guest. If, so. if young master... Hugo Huntington Humboldt yeah, 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 and yeah. his daddy, um, if, if, Jeffrey. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I rather, yes. Um, if, if the young master <laughs> would be so kind Put as to... Put them away, uh, Hugo. If, if, what? If no. young master would please put his rats away, for put now. Put them away. I'm sorry. And um, for you, my lady. Uh, yes. Um, I I'll put you down as Beryl Gardiner. Oh, um, oh yes. And he brings out what looks like um, a scroll, and it just goes on. Yes, of course. Yes. Yes, of. Uh, Lady Gardner, it is an absolute delight to have you here. Please do pass on our sincerest gratitude and thanks to your mother. I, of, of course, of course. Um, please, please, please call me Beanie. Everyone does. Oh, you're really pretty. Oh, Beanie. Um, right. Beanie, yes. Or Little Bean. Um, I like beans. Bean, yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Right, well, um, I saw you all get out of the carriage together. Are we all together? Yes. Oh, Wonderful. Yes. Right. We're here so. together. Excellent. So we're uh, looks together. Looks like you're the last ones as well. Sure. Excellent timing. The speech is about to begin. And he opens the door. He goes, Lord Dozick Ashtank of Stoneheart. Is, okay. Lord Geoffrey of House Humboldt. Young Lord Master Humboldt. Hugo Huntington of House Humboldt. <laughs> and Beryl of House Gardener. Uh, there is a sort of very gentrified. <laughs> it's over as soon as it begins. <laughs> Ta-da! And you are led into what you can only describe as the grandest manor any of you have ever seen. Uh, it is huge. The ceilings are so incredibly high, you have to strain your head back to see them. At the top, you see crystal chandelier after crystal chandelier. The room is full. There seems to be maybe 200 people here at least. All some dancing, drinking, eating food. And you can see on either side, there seems to be what looks like a wing going off to your left and a wing going off to your right. The one to your left seems entirely unguarded, undefended. The one to your right has two servants stood in front of it. Now the servants, this is something that gets your attention immediately. These servants are dressed in suits, more fine, better tailored, more resplendent than many nobles you've seen. And just at the far back, sort of crawling up the back walls, you can see two staircases. But on the foot of these staircases are two floating suits of animated armor with halberds crossed to block entry up the stairs. Daddy, look. As soon as you step in, you can see the servants are walking around, some carrying uh, gold trays with hors d'oeuvres on them, holding them out there. One hand behind the back, uh, back impeccably straight, chin up, as they sort of like bow as they offer you some food. Uh, how, how, how tall are the other servants? Outstanding. We're talking about sort of like standard human height, so you're looking the I upper reach of 5'10". Uh, so, uh, Gazek. Uh, sort of waddles along. No, it's fine. We'll stick. We'll stick Gazic. with what you say. Gazic Sorry. with a G. No, it's fine. Like Dazic is funnier. Um, oh, I also heard Dazic. Uh, I'm not talking like this. Spelling. We got Dazic. We got Humbutt. So yeah, G- <laughs> Gazic Ash Tank. Um, when I'm not doing this voice, um, Gazic Gazic runs up and sort of starts hopping a little bit, trying to like pick up the food. So. Oh, they, they they come down to your level. Like they uh, thank, thank they you, sir. willingly <laughs> just yes. like and some of them. It, these people must be doing Pilates on the reg because <laughs> they just straight down, like their body becomes a right angle. They're clearly trained for this. Uh, 
following swiftly behind the food, and this food is the, the best. I take, I take the entire tray. They Just will the let end. you take the tray. Cool, done. <laughs> yeah. Um, another comes by uh, carrying another gold tray, but this time you can see these very tall champagne flutes with a ring of gold around the very rim. Mm. Uh, they are sort of like bowing, holding them out for you. Despite the fact that you're nine years old, they let you take them. <gasps> Daddy! <laughs> Look, see what? what? It's a special evening. It is <laughs> the best sparkling wine you've ever tasted. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> mm. Don't mind if I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can see there is uh, the sound of music echoing from above, and as you I look can up, see the sound of music. <laughs> Excellent. The wine was that good. <laughs> you can see instruments are just floating above the party, mm. playing themselves. Mm. Cool. But you are left in this party, looking around. Lots of people there. As I said, you can see people in fine dresses. You can see people in armor, uh, both ceremonial and practical. Hmm. So just just as you, so there was an exit that was guarded, and there's one that was unguarded. Yes. So yeah. to your left, there is a sort of corridor that doesn't seem to have anyone guarding it. Cool. To your right, there is a corridor that seems to have two servants just stood in the way. Cool. And you said there was some animated armor with halberds. You've got straight ahead two staircases on either side, which are kind of coming up. There are animated armor, two on either side with halberds crossing off. And you can see as you look up these staircases, as they lead up to the first floor, they stop halfway up to what looks like a small balcony mm-hmm, mm-hmm. where one would kind of address the party. Cool. Well, guys are going to take a second tray of food, find an empty chair. Yep. And just take a seat and just um, chow down and just watch watch the goings on and the comings and going and quite happy as Larry, just making a mess. Doesn't matter what, just sort of this is great. This you is go. Lovely. What are you doing? Can can I have a can of pay, please? A hood of Oh yes, of course. <laughs> and one of the servants bows very low. Oh thank you. Oh, Hugo. Sort of a salmony, oh, balsamic Dev. vinegar thing. Mm. Mm. Um, um, I just like hold eye contact with the waiter for a second and then uh, crumbs and uh, run away. Turn around, scurry <laughs> away like a small child. Uh, my son doesn't like your food. Bring him something else. Y- yes, yes, of course, my lord. Uh, what, 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 what should I bring? Hugo, what do you want? Would you like some of my sandwiches? What's what's in them? What's in them? Um, it's always a bit of a lottery with my mum. Um, I think there's. And he's looking a bit shy. Suddenly, there's a rat in his hands. So he's just hiding, kind of behind it. I mean, with the with the rat, would your rat like? Was that Leo? That's Leo. Would Leo like some sandwich? Um, I think there's. Is is he vegetarian or? Um, because I think I think we've got some. Um, Pumpkin. She's been getting experimental recently. Um, uh, I, pumpkin. I the sandwich. Yeah, uh, unicorn pate. Um, and um, unicorn pate. Unicorn. Pate. Un- that unicorn pate. Delightful. Yes. In a sandwich, you say. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah. Yes. She's yes. very good at catching them. Yes. Yeah. Wow. The servant is just sort of after hearing all this going. I'm Beryl Gardner. Why Feeny. don't you have unicorn pate? Uh, Lady Gardner, uh, of, of course. It's, I, I apologise for my impression. She says her name's Beanie. Yeah, it is it is Beanie. Very good. But no one ever recognises me without my mother around. It, it's completely fine. Ro- yes, and please do uh, pass on my sincere regards to your mother. I I'll, don't think she knows who I am. I hope she doesn't know who I'm, I am. Who's I, your mother? Case, I won't who's mention you to my mother. Th- th- thank you. Um, Not a problem. Excuse me. And he practically runs off before even talking to you. Who this boy? Who him is? What I... Um, <laughs> who him is? Can I, on my perch, just make an insight check on the servant as he runs? Yeah. Three, yeah. What are you trying to... Uh, I just want to I just want to. Just surmise, like, why... That, do they look fearful? Do they look like they're offended? Okay. Beanie, uh, so that is a 16. Terror. Pure, abject terror. terror. Cool, Pure, thank you. unadulterated terror. Oh, he looks a bit um, upset. <laughs> <laughs> do I know the Do I know the gardeners? What I know of this beanie? Uh, make for me a history check. 
And I take Ollie out instead, put Leo back in. That's a 16. <laughs> Never heard the name in your life. Must not run in the same circles. Um, Absolutely charmed to make your acquaintance. Thank you for the unicorn pate. It's honestly quite all right. Vinegary um, nonsense. The servant had disgusting. Oh, I'm disgusting. sure they have this lovely. My mum always just makes sure that I've got some extra food. You know, in case I get hungry, you've got to pack snacks. Um, One I must be prepared. Exactly, exactly. In case, not in with case rats, you meet some you fluffy acquaintances, uh, a further sandwich is provided. <laughs> So and I hold her up. There is oh, Ollie says thank you. Faint tingling, like a distant sound of very small, gentle bells, mm. uh, followed by the ting, 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 as all the music slowly dies down. Thank you, Garcon. And the instruments above you just freeze in place as all attention is suddenly directed to the balcony. You hear a sort of tap as emerging from upstairs, you see a relatively hunched over human man, seems to be in his mid to late fifties. Uh, he's walking sort of with a cane, holding onto his back. And as he reaches the, uh, as he reaches the balcony, a sort of, well, you wouldn't know it to be an unseen servant, but a champagne flute just sort of floats over and he reaches out and goes, Thank you, Godfrey. <laughs> Daddy, look. Yes. Look, I can't see. Lift me up. No. Lift me up. No. How heavy are you? I was going to say, Gezek also walks up and like. Go no, on, I get one of the servants to come over and be a footstool. <laughs> Which they do. Outstanding. There you go, Hugo. Stand uh, on the gentleman. Fourteen. Oh, Persuasion. I all that. Scrambled up on the servant that my father has provided for me. Hold the hand out to let you steady yourself. <laughs> gets Looking on the tray, at, keeps eating. Yeah, yeah. you take the servant's tray as he gets on all fours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll hold this for you, son. A second that. later, all the food has come. Uh, <laughs> as, there is a, as you burp, there is a shh. <laughs> as looking up, you see um, a face all of you know in your sort of research leading up to this event. Uh, this I do not recognize this face. Is the, <laughs> Probably me neither. Okay. This is the unmistakable countenance of Count Otto Durheim von Erdendorf. Uh, the sort of um, relatively hapless old man and the last living descendant of the great house von Erdendorf. He sort of like makes his way over, uh, holds his champagne flute. And he goes, Esteemed guests, as you all know, I am the poorest man in Everlast. There is a smattering of chuckles and the most. All the upper class getting up. I don't get it. It was funny. Thank you, all of you, for coming here this day to drink my booze and eat my food. I, as you know, am Count Otto, the last of House von Erdendorf. This is a climactic time in Erlest, a time where the world is changing, where soon inventions, new progress, is very much the name of the game. Now, as you all know, this great esteemed house of mine, the House von Erdendorf, was created long, long ago with my great, great grandfather, Reinhard, founded the village of Erdendorf and built the manor on this hill. In the time since, we have been the sole defenders of the mythical, the unspeakable, the immaterial, Godfrey, did I use that right? Thank you. The immaterial scrap of fate. The one scrap of parchment where it is whispered, should anyone write their wish upon its sheath, it will immediately vanish. And that wish 
however climactic, however destructive, however maddening, will come to pass. But we are not here to discuss such trifles. We are here to celebrate. At this, my biannual winter solstice ball, I welcome all of you. And in the words of the famous House Erdendorf, price, progress, profit. Cheers. Huzzah. And he drinks. Hey. A moment later, there is a and the party, once again, full swing. Uh, the people are dancing, the <laughs> instruments are playing, food is coming round at another pace. There is, seems to be a dwarf that's eating all the food, so more of it is getting brought out quicker and quicker. Every time you do that, there is a distinctive Shh, dish. Thank you. <clears throat> could, I, could I have Perry back, please? But... You are very much left to your own devices. Now, people are sort of moving around, people are dancing, but all of you have your reasons for being here. So, what are we doing? So, why are you here this fine (laughs) evening? I'm trying to show Hugo the finer side of things, get him ready to start attending these affairs You hear another deep burp behalf. in the background. <laughs> There's only so many fancy parties one gentleman can attend of an evening. Or if I... Shh. I can't be everywhere at once, and one day Hugo will take over the family <clears throat> business. I thought, I thought that is that you said you wanted to find a new mummy. You don't tell them that, Hugo! Oh. You don't tell them that! Oh, I'd... and I, would you like a rat? Uh, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. just full on takes this, the rat. This is like... Vanessa. Vanessa. Yeah, she's got like a little black spot on her head and really pink ears, but she's like a caramel colour. Cute rat. Um, yeah, I mean, that's why I'm here. I, I normally You want to find a mummy? To with... let my son take over your family business? <sighs> he is spoken for. Uh, no, no, no. Um, to find I... a new mummy? No, I love my mummy very dearly. Um, Would you like to be a mummy? Hi! No. I'm Hugo Huntington Humboldt. No, I... This my, is my daddy. Oh, my my mum normally comes with me to these events um, and I've been coming with her to them for a long time, much like you, you and your son. Yes. Um, yes. But this is my first one. Would you like the wrap back? Oh, um, sure, sure. This is but my first are... one by myself. Um, and... Yeah. Why? Why is it your mummy here? Oh well, similarly, she says. She, I mean, she doesn't. She doesn't actually really like these events. All the sort of bowering and scraping and. Um, but who does? Yeah, she doesn't. Or, sh- or she doesn't or really does. eat. Um, who <laughs> does? Yes, yeah, very good. It's we'll just, get there. Yeah. yeah, it's it's an odd event for her, and, and yeah, people do just they make such a fuss. Oh, why does she have rats? They well, don't some, always sometimes. like it when I have rats. God damn it, Hugo. Um, yeah, she has, she has been known to have rats in quite large quantities. <gasps> Me too! Yeah. I'm start pulling more rats out yeah, of the it's sack. Yeah, why I'm... So I'm covered in rats. How, how, how many rats do you have? <laughs> all of them. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not there. And they all have names. Do you want me to tell you their names? Oh, uh, perhaps later. Okay. This is why I had to let the nanny go. Look what she's done to my boy. Vanessa's in here. Gazik, what are you doing? Um, while well, while this is happening, um, Gazik is sort of just having polished off their sixth tray and being yes. told to shush for the 13th time in the evening. Um, the servants don't seem to be giving me food anymore for some reason. Um, they... <coughs> Almost okay. certainly not. So I start. Avoid that I start. Yeah. Center of the room. I'm, I'm sort of waddling through the crowd, like trying to trying to see someone who might be willing to feed me, but also just listening on any other conversation or any ongoing amongst the like. Like, what, okay. what's the vibe? Is it is it political? Is it upper class? Or is it a mix of everything? I'm just trying to listen in and see like what conversations are happening Make as they're going. Make a perception check. You've been shit. So let's let's do better than that. Okay, okay, let's do that. That's 12. 12. Okay. Um, it's 
Now this is where your your size kind of comes in to benefit here. As you're walking around and you can mostly see just a lot of couples arm in arm walking around going, and they say that tonight the vault is less defended than ever. <laughs> really, Mabel? No. Is that what they say? <laughs> As people are sort of walking around, um, you make your way to uh, one sort of group that looks a bit kind of... Uh, not familiar in the sense that you know them, but they're decked out in a similar kind of like adventurer uh, cell sword gear. No, okay. The kind of, that you're sort of like vaguely familiar with. And they are all um, all sat around this one circular table leaning in. And uh, make me a stealth check just a to see. A stealth check? Yeah. Just Absolutely. To see how close you can get before they notice All you. Right. Bit dice. Unless you're just coming openly. Like. No, 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 no. Well, like, you know, I'm, I'm making my way. Uh, that is a two. <laughs> two. For nine. Um, <laughs> DM luck. You've got DM luck. <laughs> so, <laughs> as you are approaching, comes around. <laughs> one of them, uh, they're all sort of leaning in, talking to each other, and one of them is going, well, my sources are telling me that we'll find it and someone's secret. <laughs> and they go, Oh, that friend, you're right. I immediately pull the long cylinder from my back and just um, sit down and start polishing what, what is now quite a long, ornate rifle. I was um, cleaning my gun. Yes. Uh, sorry, didn't mean to bother you. Carry on. Good, good gentleman, I'm uh, Have you seen any food, by the way? I'm famished. Uh, yeah, we uh, we just got some of these uh, mini quiches to, to die for, really. Oh, mm-hmm. I do love a good quiche. Yeah. Do, you, do, you, do you want... Oh, please, yes. Yeah. If you don't mind, I could no. have four. Uh, if I give you four, will you go away? I'll go away for six. He gives you six. <laughs> <laughs> Take the six, I holster my rifle, and I waddle away, about 30 feet away, and just plant yep. and try and position myself behind some of the conversational dancers or anything okay. quite happily just just my feet don't touch the floor I'm quite short I'm just sort of like kicking my way along <laughs> and beating just great having a good chew and Brilliant. that is me for now Beanie is going to have been sort of watching this interaction because she's also interested in <laughs> this sort of side of the room hmm. um, and she's going to head on over to Dazic Dazic is it, is it, so if you want to call Dazic. me Dazic because Dazic. that's what they announced me call Dazic. me Dazic because yeah. that's funnier cool. so do yeah. that yeah um, Dazic yes Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Your hands been a bit sweaty. It's, 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 it's a bit smudged. It's Gazig or Dazig. Um, ass, tunk. <laughs> make, make an intelligence. <laughs> uh oh. You picked the five. Uh, 13. 13. 13. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Hugo's I mean, just learned to read. He's very proud. <laughs> and yeah, very charming. You, th- so you think smart. it says Gazik, but they also said Dazik. So, who knows? <coughs> yes. Okay. Um, what were those um, gentlemen over there that you just uh, took the quiches off saying? <coughs> um, they told me to take six quiches and walk away. What were they saying before you took the two quiches? Six quiches. Don't remember. <laughs> Good stuff. My uh, and I'd sort of like, dung dung dung, and like tap like the chrome and like you, up close you see the chrome plate covers like a good like third of my head. Uh-oh. Like there's a big like shiny metal piece, Got sort it. of like yeah. Um, Point it right. Okay. I'll I'll try again soon. Oh no! I'll tell you what. Shall I go try and get you more quiches? I do like quiches. Okay, wow. It do you happens. want help? You've got small hands, so I could carry some for you. And you see he's got really long, light arms. Sure, And he's course. like, look yes. what I can do. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on then. Um, Beryl kind of go... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ...and try and sort of make herself appear as ladylike as possible. <laughs> yeah. Um, Which isn't very, but... Okay. She's doing her best. <laughs> are you trying to make yourself appear ladylike, or are you making yourself appear ladylike? Oh, Ooh. at the moment she's just trying. Performance check, please. Cool. Um, get get Dazic. Actually, we'll see. Depending how well you do this. Twenty-two, dirty twenty-two. Oh, guy, where are you? Um, <laughs> seeing this, get get because we'll go with that. <laughs> uh, is also going to attempt to like at least straighten out his uh, breastplate and yeah. and adjust his, himself. Sure. Um, make for me a performance check as well. 
Oh. <laughs> uh, performance? Four. Four phenomenal. Um, yes, yeah, so phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal. <laughs> you straighten your um, gleaming brass plate. Uh, and you drop it down and you <laughs> see that there's a little bit of quiche there, so you just flick it off, uh, completely ignoring the huge stain of food <laughs> down the other side. Uh, but you are the very epitome of ladylike. Right oh, now. good, it's worked. Um, <sighs> the epitome. The epitome. Gentlemen. Uh, the six. Uh, Mercenary cell swords just all turn around and go, oh, oh, my lady. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Uh, ple- pleasures, pleasures, mine, my lady. And how are you this fine evening? Oh, uh, yes, uh, quite, quite, quite well. You know, it's good, it's good, it's good quiche. Good quiche, good quiche. it is. It's very would good you, quiche. Um, would you perhaps give a few further quiches to my uh, wonderful companion here? Um, and please, perhaps, uh, just... What, what's your business here this uh, this eve? Oh, um, you know, we're um, <laughs> by invitation here to drink, drink and eat. Of uh, course. Inside check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is a dirty 20. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can smell the bullshit. <laughs> uh, you know, that. That? Yeah. I see, I see. So. Yeah, yes. My lady Beanie Beans. Mm-hmm. Yes. I think they might be lying. Ah. I don't whisper this, I just say this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see. She looks up at them and smiles. He goes bright red. Um. And what is your true purpose here this evening? All right, just keep it, you know, keep it quiet, yeah? <laughs> right, um, so... I'm making a me, and, dots. me and the boys here, mm-hmm. we've heard that tonight the, uh, the scrap might be up for grabs. Uh, we've uh, we've got our man out in with the staff. He's gonna he's gonna get us in, mm-hmm. get us into the vaults, and then we're gonna get it. Okay, I see. Mm. Yes, that lady Mabel really does talk a lot, doesn't she? What? <laughs> it's okay. Um. Well, I have always been somewhat curious to see what else lies in the Count's vaults. Perhaps I could join you? Um, I make a persuasion check. Cool. She bats his eye- her eyelashes. <laughs> oh, thing. she goes full. You can tell oh, um, it's an advantage. Um, yeah, you can tell um, it's dangerous. Gezek, Gezek, like, oh, caught me, lady. All right, you get guidance. Oh, thank Ooh. you. Thank you. Help just help slap him. a high lady on the ass. Go okay, on. So I, I do right. Go get him, champ. It's my, it's it's my beanie 17. baby. <laughs> get out. Nineteen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, with a nineteen, uh, he kind of like freezes for a bit. Like he's obviously trying to work out why this noble woman has just come up to him and is like, "We join you on your robbery." <laughs> like, um. Uh, I mean. Not to be telling you your business, but are you quite sure it's, it might be dangerous? I'm Beryl Gardner. And is there any gardening that needs doing around okay, here? Okay, fine. I can take care of myself, thank you. Uh, right. Everything is fine. Okay. I've got my warm socks on and everything. I mean, there's fire in here, but all right. Um, <laughs> Okay, well, I'll, I'll let you know when uh, when George is ready. And Wonderful. I guess we'll see you in a bit. I mean, and hopefully I will be of some use as I can perhaps lend some... Um, I don't think there's much gardening he's doing in a vault. No, I meant using my uh, noble appearance, perhaps, to uh, lend you some cover. How do you figure that's going to work? If we're caught, I can perhaps talk our way out of it. I imagine if we're caught, we're dead. Uh, it's a vault. I wouldn't be so sure. 
All right, you broke into many vaults in your time? No. Right, not kind of the place for your lot, actually. It's a bit weird that you'd think that. Hmm, okay, sure. And he turns back to his comrades. She was absolutely lying when she said no, by the way. That was just, that was... I was gonna say, they very sound like a... Hundred percent, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah she wasn't even really trying. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Gezek's left, by the way, and is now yeah, sure. dancing after and seeing little... <laughs> go and his rats are dancing, and he's got like the little house. So do, 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 and then I'm not do, here, basically, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the rats just start like... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the piano cat. He <laughs> loves me! Yeah, it's, it's the highest any rat has ever been up, ever, <laughs> and the vertigo <laughs> is getting to him. Poor Kenneth. Maybe that's just sleep. You could go in there for that. Close enough to here? But not close enough that they're like, what the fuck are you doing? You uh, know? Yeah, 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 yeah. But yes, make a dance, Hugo. <laughs> and look around like, it's Throw wrong. it back for daddy. <laughs> it's your Jeff, son. I'm going to ban you from saying daddy forever. <laughs> daddy, Jeff. <laughs> no. No. Daddy! <laughs> fine. <laughs> That's fine. Um, is Von Erdendorf anywhere nearby? Um, you can see that he has now sort of like made his way down and he's walking sort of like through the dancers, just like... Oh, 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 can yeah, I go yeah. and run up to him, please? Yeah, of course. Hello, I am Hugo Huntington Humboldt. And oh, my Hugo. Dad, dad is, dad is Come. somewhere. This so is sorry. Vanessa. Oh. Would you like to see me do a dance? I would. Uh, I'm a very I'm good dancer. Quite, quite, yes, that would be lovely. Uh, uh, Godfrey, why is a child in my party? I must apologise, sir. I'm going to break into like must, a little kid jig. You must that wait to be introduced, like Hugo. You don't just go up to people. I'm, I, I did introduce. This is my daddy. Jeffrey Hello, Huntington, sir. Jeffrey Humboldt. Huntington Humboldt. Yes. I do apologise. It's no, his first no, outing. No, 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 no. I, it is quite my pleasure to have people like yourselves. You're uh, awesome. My, oh, thank you. Amazing. <laughs> Godfrey, take the names down. And, um, Absolute you know. honour to be to Oh, be here well, it is an honour to have you. I um, don't recall signing, but you know what? More than Mary, that's what I always say. I pull a black, I pull a silver round. Like, I'm going to call this one Erdendorf. Would you like to pat him? A charming suggestion, um, Hugo. I, I rather feel as if I let go of my cane, I would fall over. Oh, yes, okay, yes. okay. Uh, you all have a piece of paper that's super important. That's oh. very cool, your speech. He's he's learning about magical artefacts oh, at the moment. Um, he's quite yes, fascinated. Yes, my family have had the, uh, the scrap of fate for uh, generations. Wow. Yeah, it's a rumour has it that my, uh, my, my, my ancestor, Reinhardt, uh, found it and... <sighs> built for this entire manor and who saw it safely because we cannot simply give power like that away we must protect it you're going to make a wish isn't that no no no, no way. what was you wish for oh well if i was to wish for anything mm. I, mm. oh i get wish to be 20 again <laughs> oh, very good very good yes, uh, you yes. can hear around him just some Beryl instructed oh surely you're not a day over no you uh, <laughs> Thank you. Um, oh, it's Beanie! Hi, Beanie. Hello, Hugo. Did you see my dance? I did. It was excellent. Yeah. Well, uh, sorry, if you would excuse me, I'll just, these, these old bones rather do um, slow me down. I'm, I must go and find myself a chair. Oh, not at all. Not and at all. he just kind of. Dad, did you think he'll show me his piece of paper that's magic? Gosh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not touching that. <laughs> That wasn't, was it? No. <laughs> Erdendorf. <laughs> so, He's quite a fat rat, so I like <laughs> jiggling You're waiting <laughs> for the <laughs> mercenaries to oh, come yeah. and recruit you. Yep. Uh, She's also keeping an eye on them just in case they think about going without her. Um, make a perception check. Sure. Um, I'm watching the guarded door by the two servants. Not the guarded, but like the one that's been watched. Is there a lot of traffic through that door? So you can see it's mostly mm. the servants going through this one door. Okay. Um, they will go in there with empty trays and come back out a few moments later with full trays. So Gazek is going to take his, uh, where are we? He's going to take his eight empty trays he's currently got by his feet. Mm -hmm. He's going to pick one. He's going to cast Disguise Self. Okay. Uh, to disguise himself as one of the servants. Yeah. 
and he's going to immediately make his way and try okay. and We're carry back to track. Got a four. Four. Um, Good. Good. You sort of like turn around to make your quip about the Lord the Count not being a day over 20, and as you turn back around, they're gone. Oh, the little shits. <clears throat> Something gone awry. I have made some acquaintances who said they were going to it's, show it's me so some new yeah. part of the party. Um, I don't suppose you've seen four totally out of place looking ruffians, have you? Not since you've spoke to them. They're Hugo. Mm-hmm. Perhaps it's time to learn more about the architecture of the building <coughs> and, and the passageways. And how they, you know, connect and all that sort of thing, and things that are down passageways. In an architectural sense, you see. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Further your education mm-hmm. on the matter. Do you, mm. do, do you want to go down either of the ways, where there's people in the way? I could Do you go. have a particular inkling? Uh, which way were they standing towards? So, you saw that they were very much in the sort of... Uh, when you're coming in the top right corner. Yeah. Um, suspiciously, within easy seeing distance of the guarded door with the servants. And mm. speaking of the door with the servants. Yes. Gadozik. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my name. You are Your making mate, your yes, way Gazzard, over. Very much disguise. So disguise self. Uh, that affects your height as well. Yes, it? yes, it does. I can make yeah. myself a foot shorter or tall. So it makes me about five five. I'm still quite a short yeah, uh, but humanoid male. Yeah, you know, uh, you can blend it. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Uh, so you're holding the tray. You're sort of walking through and still waddling a little bit. Yeah. As you uh, as you're walking, um, as you're sort of walking towards mm. the guarded door, one of these servants that stood there very much, you know, uh, just looks at you and goes, oh. Top button. Oh, yes, uh, sorry, sorry, sir. <clears throat> and I adjust the illusion and I carry on. And you are sent through. Uh, you can see what is in front of you a very, very busy kitchen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, it's, yeah, like a lot of toing and froing. You can see some, like, very angry chefs behind a sort of uh, window and a sort of opening in the wall as they are just like putting out more and more of these uh, golden trays mm-hmm. full of food. Lots of food. It smells gorgeous, by the way. Where, where's the drink station? Uh, so, looking in, you see a bit to the left, there is uh, essentially a, what is just three people stood behind a bar, just filling glass after glass. This entire bar is just full of flutes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And a little bit beyond them, you see what looks like a larder. Uh, just a sort of door in the corner of the room, mostly going in. Sure. Uh, however, really one thing you do be. note as you're in the kitchen is there are four, four men dressed like servants oh. who are This wasn't the plan. This wasn't the plan. Stood at the back and they're just... <laughs> just like making their way slow trying to do this so it's still on camera inside check a billion um, <laughs> I'm not going to inside check that yeah. I, yeah cool fine yeah they seem to be making their way across the back wall making my way downtown okay yeah um, they, as you sort of like stay there and watch for a bit how long are you what are you doing are you I'm, 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 I'm looking busy yeah I'm walking through I'm dropping my trays back sure. I'm getting in I'm like getting out the way I'm yeah. definitely not, I'm not eating food because I know where I am now. I have, yeah. I have enough common sense not to do that. But I'm definitely watching these this troop. All right. Uh, so uh, they, sorry, are they trying to like hide or like transfer? Like, like so they are. They've just got their backs pinned against this wall. And in, in the kitchen to, or in the larder? In the kitchen. Okay. Trying to shuffle their way towards the larder. Um, they're trying to do it as surreptitiously as possible, making themselves the. They just stand out so mm. horribly. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Um. Okay. Am I smart enough to think of that? While you're thinking of that. I I am. Okay, carry on, carry on. What are the three of you doing? Oh. Right. Distract. I need to get back over this. I could do that. Distract. Distract. Distraction. Of course. Um, It sure would be a shame. I did tell him not to bring them. It sure would be a shame if they got loose and ran amok. Absolutely awful. What a So embarrassing for me as his father. Absolutely. Beatrice, Reginald. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, Beanie is going to sidle as close to the guarded uh, entrance yep. as possible and wait. Okay. And you see what's really fascinating about the stonework here. So she's bringing it. Carved yeah, by hand. You see, Hugo, possible. the markings on the wall. You can see the workman's tools, which just really shows the handmade the craftsmanship that's gone Drop into a this. a couple of just rats. Astounding okay. building. Oh. And At the appropriate and then... moment, Beanie is going to go, oh goodness, rats! <laughs> Okay, so two things. And drop a glass. Um, <laughs> oh! Okay, you're trying to make this as kind of like loud as possible. Yes, and sell the you're shit trying out to of sort it. of like sway your rats to do this. Now, do you have any sort of like bonus or did you just swarm? Well, I was, I know, I know I don't have any like, I mean, I've got animal, my animal handling modifier. Then, Which is zero. Cool. But um So I'm gonna ask you to make an animal handling check. Okay. And you just a charisma check. But there's two servants guarding this area, right? Yes. Alright, well, I just want at least one to leave and then I can take care of the other one. Let's see how you With do. Can I also like Dirty lean 20. into the like, oh god, they're everywhere! Uh yep, you can roll with advantage. Excellent. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. <laughs> wow. And what'd you get for animal handling? 10. 10. Okay. Uh, Damn it. Go, guys. Go over there. There is, go there is a there. shriek as, you know, your your initial shout then creates a cascading chain reaction of um, the strangest response. You have simultaneously noble women are leaping up onto chairs and lifting their dresses. Noble men are leaping up onto chairs and lifting their trouser legs ineffectively, I might add. <laughs> As rats are just kind of scurrying around, um, the both servants with that, those rolls together. Um, fun fact: you needed at least a thirty together, and you got it. Well done. Uh, hey. Suddenly, rush off into the crowd. The door to the kitchen is open. You hear some screaming. Okay. But as the door is open, and I assume you're making your way in. Oh yes. Yes. We're going to skip back. Right. So I hear the screaming. Yep. Uh, Gadezic or Degezic or whatever you want to call me, really, uh, is going Jim. to no. Uh, it's going to walk up uh, with still like the empty trays in their hand. What are you doing? To the to the four, sort of suddenly up. They just... you're idling. Look how busy this kitchen is. Are you are you mad? We're going to be we're going to be like whipped. Do you want that? Do you want to get the chefs? Are you going to get us in trouble again? You saw what happened last week with Mildred. My God. Make a performance check. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're my first of a D20. Don't fuck me. Um, this is this is this is terrifying. By the way, I hate not being there. <laughs> yeah, shut up, you. I can All right. hear you like what you keep wanting to like just. I really do. Oh, it's yeah. really. I can see it in the corner of my eyes. I know it's great. It's yeah. really hard to not. I'm struggling. That, that is so a performance. Yeah. Thirteen. Thirteen. With oh, with with this guy's self up. Yeah. Does that give me anything? Um. Mm -mm. I'm asking. I'm not no, 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 no. I've been uh, trying to make myself stop. You're, you are as a servant. Uh, I'm a servant. I don't have a station, so like. We're just gonna give an inside check for them. They got an eleven. So uh, the nice. four men, and again, they could not look more out of place if they tried. Like you know, they've got the pristine suits. The faces are dirty. Like, right. It, it just doesn't look right at all. Uh, so immediately, right, hey, hey, and I give them a tray. Yeah. Go, go, go. Uh, We're gonna get whipped. You see the chef? Yes. Like the one like hacking with a giant like nut. Like, yeah. There's a can... there's a half orc. Uh, mm. He's got a meat cleaver that's like bigger than most people. Uh, you hear the screaming? It's because they're out of hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> <laughs> and they go. Yep. Yeah, they just go. They rush. Good. Good boys. Yeah. Good lads. Yep. Yeah. The uh, the waiter Lada, which one of them was just sort of like had just reached, is now open. I go in. Yeah. Okay. You are able to go in quite ably. We're going to come straight back to that. That's fine. So we, um, the three of you, you go into the kitchen. As you do, you spot mm -hmm. the four men who you had an agreement with running out with trays. They kind of there's a passing like huh? look, huh? Yeah. but <laughs> they don't say anything. Do we um do, do we think we should also yell for all of these people? Oh no, there's rats. Go over there. Can I go get my rats back? Not yet. Oh, okay. <sighs> Clear what are we doing? Dear God, man, there's rats outside. You are just outside the kitchen. Yes. Time's of the essence. This is what I'm talking Where's like the this. egg timer? Uh, I don't know. It's a five minute timer, what? so yeah. that might yeah. be too long. Uh, that's, yes, cause a commotion. Cause a commotion. Do you want more rats? 
no, 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 no. We're just going to tell them. We're just going to shout head round the corner. Rats. Um, there are rats in the ballroom. Dear God, men, they're everywhere. Get out there. Round them up. This is disgusting. <laughs> okay, you can both make uh, intimidation checks, or one of you can do it with advantage. I was going to say, can I give one of them advantage because I'm letting out like a child shriek of a high level. Uh, okay, with that as well, we're not going to do I can't do, super I can't advantage, advantage super but advantage. your DC is low. Well. What's super cool. advantage? Okay. Uh, triple advantage. Natural 20. Nice. Good God, man, get out there. I think then we've both rolled 22. <laughs> nice. Wow, the spirit of Guy yeah, is here yeah. tonight. <laughs> Intimidation so, is a total dead. of 23, but dead. a natural 20. Oh, yeah, so, I got um, 22, yeah. You burst in with your, there are rats! And as the servants are kind of looking up at you, you burst in immediately after. Trays hit the ground. You hear the sort of a half walk go, rats in my estate! As servants just rush out. Some of them you see are carrying like hand crossbows. <laughs> Incredible. Hugo, you see I will buy you spear. more rats. It's, you know, it, it's a military operation. Um, the kitchen evacuates very quickly. You hear this. I pull out a rat. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make a general roll to see how well the rat hunt goes. Okay. Oh, but they are going to be distracted oh, no. for a bit. They are terrible at killing rats. Yay! They'll be gone even longer. You'll you hear a thump as a crossbow is released and then an ear-piercing shriek as someone's ankle gets caught. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you come in just sort of in time to see the larder door shut. Mm. And you're in the larder. It's dark, dark enough that your dark vision kicks in. Cool. And it's the larder. Is there, are there, is there any like anything like immediately obvious <laughs> that I could snack on? <laughs> it's a larder. Yeah, good. I'll grab yeah. some beef jerky and I just go. Oh to town. yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like, like, I'm literally just sitting there stuffing my face. Yeah, like, not worry about anything all else. All shelves to your right, all shelves to your yep. left. Like veg, dried meats, all of that stuff. Cool. There's um, a little mini keg of ale on the floor, and another cupboard just right in front of you. I also drink the ale. Yeah, make a Constitution saving. That's throw. absolutely fine. Our saving throw. Uh, that's a five. Five. You're getting drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Beryl and you, uh, is going to see the sort of gently door and you hear and a, like, you hear a belch a big deep belch oh I do wonder who could be in the larder um, <clears throat> Beryl goes in why are we in the kitchen daddy come, we've got to come find in. the room with the baby <laughs> so you open the larder and you see uh, the people who were on carriage with you all three of them are stood there. You see your dwarf companion, who's just poured a mini keg of ale. Companion's a strong word. Yeah. Uh, uh, I've also just realised this is the first character it. I've ever had that doesn't have dark Hi. vision. And a good... Hmm. Uh, with the door open, you can see inside here quite easily. Um, you imagine with the door closed, you wouldn't be, be able to dark. see. Is there a lantern outside, uh, like a torch or anything outside it from the kitchen? There's a lantern. Like, you can grab oh, like a candle. Grab mm -hmm. candle and, yeah. and, and, and head on my tongue yeah. Yeah. And then I stop, I grab some grapes from the top With the four of you, it's a very tight fit. It, this is the tube on rush hour. Sure. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Wait, which line? Central line. Oh, oh. Yeah. Obviously. I mean, you've just done a burp. It's totally the central line. Oh. England! All right. <laughs> to our non-London friends. Sorry. It's gross. Um, the worst. Beryl's going to sort of... Uh, Hate right. it. Uh, and start looking around to see if there's any trendy trap doors or secret okay. trap doors. Trap doors. That trendy sounds like, trendy like trap an investigation doors? check. Ooh, Ooh, yeah, sure. I'm still oh, drinking in the corner. Might. You're still. There is no corner. There is only the squeeze. Yeah, we're mm. all squeezed in. I'm drinking in the yeah. squeeze. Like you've, you can't lower the keg now if you tried. There's too many people. Um, everyone look for some sort of door or <clears throat> trap door or fake shelf or something. Mm. DM. Yes, really yes, wish sure. I'd taken some sort of magical item. What, are, what is my penalty for being a instead. little bit drunk? Um, no penalty for being a little bit drunk. Okay. Because it takes a bit of time for it to get into your system. 19. Uh-oh. This yeah, is what it feels looking? like, Matt. <laughs> I'm so helpless right now. <laughs> the, best, 
we are going to get to that. Oh, yeah. The best bit is that I'll I just get to, to say when, oh. <laughs> and you just have to suffer. Oh. This is so and I never <laughs> And I never played ever again. Uh, DM, forever DM. You're forever in reason. my house now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're literally in my house right now. That's true. Yeah, for, uh, carry 19. on. Yes. Okay. Distraction aside. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you are sort of going around the shelves. They are just shelves. Every time you sort of like move a bit of food out of the way, you see a dwarven hand just reach up and grab it. And you open the cabinet. This, this one's weird. And with a 19, this gets your attention. The food in here is rotting. Mm. Like you open it, you're immediately hit with the smell. And everything about this place just seems normal like you know this is this is a place where people very much keep a kitchen to order like there's a half hog with a giant cleaver in there like the man keeps a clean kitchen but in this cupboard all the food is rotting the smell is horrendous she's gonna tear a little bit off her dress and just yep. sort of hold it yeah okay i think i think in here Hold Might a, be something. Hold a rat under my nose. Good idea. I love you um, so much. She's. <laughs> I hate my child. Some beer's gone up your nose. You just well, you can't. I'm. I'm. F I'm having a great time. Um, Beryl's Maybe. going to try and kind of clear away some of the rotten food. Yep. Oh, pull out my yeah. Oh, yeah, and box. clearing it away, and Much with your nineteen, kind of looking around <laughs> very quickly as your sort of fingertips touch the back panel, you realise this is fake. Okay. I think you I've got it. Say. I think it's through here. She's going to. What have you got? Oh, yeah. Oh. You pull out the shelves, mm -hmm. push the panel, it just slides back and across to the side. Yay! And looking down, Marvelous. you see a series of stone stairs, uh, roughly about five feet in width, Good. going down to probably what you'd estimate to be about two floors below basement level. Mm. Zazic, you're very welcome to stay here and keep eating. Um, or it's okay. Or are um, you oh, come okay. with us? I grab it, a turkey, <laughs> and just tuck it on my arm and just keep eating and snacking as we walk sure. down. Um, so down she goes. All going down. Down okay. we go. Yep. <laughs> how, how 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 big is this tunnel, by the way? Five feet. By in width. Oh, the the height. Uh, oh, uh? fine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's made, looks to be made for Just a... checking I'm not too tall to fit inside. No. Too sideways tall. <laughs> Just checking? Just no, checking. you're a dwarf. Sure. Uh, it's made, you would say it's uh, made to fit someone of at least six and a half foot. Sorry. Cool. <laughs> so, you are making your way down and it's as you get to the very bottom. Yeah, definitely gone down at least two floors at this point. I'll try to... Uh, the... Room kind of opens to a long corridor, sort of uh, 20 feet in width and uh, approximately about 100 feet in length. You can see at the end there is just uh, what looks like a plain metal door and torches, creating a nice sort of like warm orange glow lining down the way. As you all walk in, no other sort of sign of anything else uh, as you all walk in. It's not 100 foot, it's 45 foot. I apologize very much for reading the wrong room. Uh, <laughs> as you walk in, you get about 10 feet in, and suddenly all the torches go out. Ah! Including my cat, including my. All, every light okay, source goes yeah. out. And you, mm -hmm. and anyone else with dark vision, hey. cannot see a thing. Yep. Okay. And we're going to have a quick break. Oh! Oh! All right, it go begins. get yourself a refill. We'll see you again in a minute. I'll set a break. Yeah. Ding! Good. Use your ears, boy. I'll listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Greetings, peasants. Alexi Karstav here. I uh, hope you're enjoying watching me in the show. I'm doing a fantastic time this week. No, uh, we wanted to thank the people who all make the show so great. Oh, God's sake. Uh, yes, 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 there is, uh, there is Erin Gray, who did a truly beautiful rendition of My Lovely Face. And everyone else. Uh, and, and them. Uh, there is Michael G Gelf Gelfi, I do this every time. Gelfi. Gelfi, yes, he does the, uh, the very heroic music that you see me being very handsome in. 
Finally, uh, who else do we have? We've got... There's Sticky Fingers, who does all the amazing maps that we get to fight on, or sometimes not fight on and immediately leave. Um, there's Loki Fellows, who also does amazing episode art, and she does all the show animations, which is, like, super, super talented. We also have that, uh, the, the social media sorceress, uh, Tanya Garamani. What is it with people and titles? Honestly, it's so gauche. And uh, we also have Jeffa and Nate doing their uh, technical wizardry behind the scenes. There are links for absolutely everyone in the description, so you should go check them out because they're all awesome and really so much more talented than we are. Uh, I mean, than you. Uh, in the mirror. Right. Well, that was that was fun. <laughs> Welcome back. If that's what we open with, then that's a whole oh, thing. Shit. Um, so we're going to jump <laughs> straight back in when we left our group of let's call you what you are, burglars. You had just... There's a child here. Yeah. Children the best kind burgle. of burglar. Yeah. We're investigators. I used to work in Wood Green. I saw children rob things all the time. So. Can I use it now? <laughs> he is taking over the family business. So, uh, as the four of you make it down into what seems to be this uh, long corridor, 45 feet in length, mm. 20 feet in width, as soon as you step down, you get roughly 10, 15 feet into this room and suddenly all the lights go down. This is immediate in you are plunged into magical darkness. It's not regular darkness. I was no. yeah. do we know, my daddy. Do we know what magical darkness, DM? You, as so anyone with dark vision will know this is magical <coughs> darkness. So all of us can only see pitch black. Yeah, correct. Thank you. Just, just clarifying that. Thank you. I was walking in front of my daddy, and now I'm hiding behind my daddy. And then, ah, who's touching? You go. Stop it. A Jesus. second later, the torches Protect come yourself. back on. Oh God! Ow. I was Once looking again, right we're in the one. same room. What is the room made of? Stone. Just all stone. All stone. Okay, cool. No windows. Uh, torches. Any lying doors? Inside. Any doors? Uh, there is the plain metal door right ahead of you and as you turn around to where the nope. stairs were you see there is Whoa. now a portcullis that is seemingly quietly shut behind you it's um, about 15 feet away um, you're about 30 feet until the next door how help how help. light is it in here so is it quite light because it's quite of, light yeah would you say like dim light I, no I'd say bright you can bright see light. fine 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 yeah. good stuff mm -hmm. um, well I guess it's time to just make our way across here. Okay. While they're doing that, uh, Gedezik or Degazik, whatever, is going Gazik. to Degazik is going to immediately start inspecting the stone. Um, but I want to use my dwarven stone cutting if I can to okay. try and surmise any like secret passages or anything, or just like just the nature of the stone in the room, basically. And if I have to take a little bit of time to do that, it's fine. I'm going to make a roll so I get my proficient in history and double that. Uh, so it's minus three plus eight, so I get a plus five to my roll. Yeah, go for it. Uh, so that is a 12. 12. Um, yeah, uh, with a quick sort of like cursory glance around. Um, no, I'm getting up against that stone. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you Rubbing can see the wall. stone actually seems to have formed some kind of mm -hmm. mechanism. Now, among the sort of, uh, you can, you're only sort of in the middle, so... You know, if you wanted to check either side, you'd have to go up and check. But sort of on the very bottom, <laughs> there's a, maybe like a six-inch gap where you can see a mechanism has been built into the room where the stone almost can come away. And as you're continuing your examination, looking up, you see there is the same sort of six-inch gap at the very top. Is the room... No. Nope. Okay. Cool. I communicate this to the rest of the group in my... Oh, it seems there's um some inches of gap. Interesting. Mm. Perhaps we should walk between... So are there like two of those gaps? Yeah, so you've side? got like mm. two lines. Yeah. Two lines. Okay. One on floor level, six inches. Ceiling level, six inches. I'm going to suggest we walk between yeah. those. Can you imagine? We'd, nev we'd never get away with this shit if he was running We'd it. never get away with it. Absolutely Disgusting. Not. Can't believe Respect done this. the process. Honestly. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a me? 
Yes. yes. I'm sorry, yes. I was just double checking the thing was recording. Cause we well, it's just a game, girl. Oh, God, let me just get can, out of my chair and leave the room. La, la, la. Guess, if you Play on. No, no, right. no, no, okay. No, no. And screw <laughs> everyone else uh, is immersion. Future Matthew, three, two, one, we're back. Okay, so <laughs> you've got, yeah, you've got the uh, six inches yeah. from whoop, ground whoop. up on your left and your right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Six inches from the ceiling down. Left and right. Okay. Cool. It I... looks like the stone should be able to come away uh, by some kind of mechanism, but you have no idea how it works or what the trigger would be. I suggest we walk in between these gaps, try and stay probably single file. Yes. Um, I'm happy to go first if that's helpful. How nearly volunteered. Off you, Troll. Aren't I just a gem? Um, um, um can I just... Um, put my hand out and uh, uh, cast Detect Magic. Just... You may. Is there anything magical? Okay. And I get to know the school of magic. Give me one second. What are you doing? What? What are you doing with your hand out? Yucky. Oh. That's very cool. Yucky. And when you, when you make eye contact, you see that who goes eyes up. You can see that um, oh God, as you cast Detect Magic, um, That's that Daddy's boy. The torches are magic. We have words. There's no other sign of magic in here. Okay. Okay. No magic, Billy. Okay. Sorry, you said. The, sorry. The torches are magic. Mm. But you, you, you said there's no magic in here. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. cool. The there's no other sign of magic. You do, however, get a faint, just like ping of something towards the door. But certainly, with your understanding of the spell. It feels like there's something magical, but almost as if it's being muffled. Does that mean I wouldn't get the school of magic because it's being muffled? Exactly. Okay. Your mummy's muffled. Um, did I see Hugo's eyes go black? Um, <laughs> watch your past perception. 16? Equal playing oh, field. 14. Um, how stealthy is Hugo's eyes going black? Uh, I mean, he turned towards. I, I, I just, I, I was looking outwards, so I didn't turn towards you the door. Front, he so was you doing this me. while I was doing that. So. Uh, I looked directly at Hugo and to when talk the, to them. after the magic has passed, the eyes go back to normal. Yeah. I'm very aware of it because I looked yeah. directly at Hugo. Oh, the time has run out. Roll initiative. Oh, oh. <laughs> really? Uh, <laughs> This one I don't Ooh. want to roll high. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, you've, really sh- you've got a green white board marker there on the table. I really should have said I'd cast Mage Armor as I like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe. I was there being right. like, when uh, you walk forwards, I'll go at the front, I'll cast Mage Armor. I didn't mm-hmm. say that. But... 25 to 20. Armor? 20. 20. Dirty 20. Ooh, Dirty 20. Uh, what's your dex? God. Thank um... you. <laughs> this isn't damn. Uh, yeah. Plus one? David do it. Plus one. It's 12. What's your dex? Plus four. All right. There we go. So, I will happily let you God. take that. My Aren't you God. supposed to rock, paper, scissors it? Like, good, decent people. I don't want to go first. Let's make some more content. Uh, 15 <laughs> to 20. <laughs> Anyone? Anyone? Ah! Oh! Nope. nope. One, two, 14. shoot. Okay. Yeah, right. I win. Um, you went, but, but, up. No, I went, bum, bum, bum. It was stone bits. But, but, but. Uh, and... I win. <laughs> I don't want to go first. <laughs> and oh, I'm, I'm, Rose, what's yours? Like I said, I'm very touched. Just, 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 I'm like, mm. Okay. Fighting is a job for the help. <laughs> so. I don't beat people up. I pay people to do that for me. And I don't like to do it. You all. Hugo, be a good boy and fight for daddy. With something in the air change. Sorry. There's a shift. Nothing immediately seems to happen, though. Daddy. You're first. Okay. Um, where am I in relation to the rest of the map right now? Can I know that? Uh, am, yes. am I in this room at the moment? You're, we're not here yet. We're not here yet. Okay. You are in the middle of a 45 foot long corridor. Sure. So you're at about 22 and a half. And how wide is this corridor? 20 feet. 20 by 45. Yeah. Okay, cool. Understood. Um, okay. Do I sense I'm in danger? Something's up. Something's up. All right. Because you don't have anything like Danger Sense or Barbarian. No, 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 that's not as fun as fun. My beard prickles a little bit. Hmm. 
I start waddling straight ahead, and I'm just going to use my full movement <coughs> to get to the end of the uh, <coughs> end Pardon of the me. corridor, and I'm going to use the um, the dodge action. Using the dodge action. I'm using the dodge action, so any attacks against me have disadvantage. Okay. Because you're using the dodge action. Yes. So this is going to be an attack against you, but make a dexterity <coughs> saving throw. Dex saving as throw? As you reach the end of the corridor. Uh, it's a natural 19 plus. That's a dirty 23. <coughs> okay. You have natural 20 to beat you. Okay. <laughs> Five. <laughs> so, uh, as, it's, as you are sort of moving towards your. Mm. And, you know. Having taken the dodge action, you're not really I'm dodging as such, but you're you're just you're aware. Mm-hmm. And it's as you're sort of taking a step and looking at the door, you're maybe about ten feet away from the door now, yep. and you just see a strange kind of shimmer in the air between you and the door. You just have enough sort of like wherewithal to stop. Look at the shimmer, just about stop yourself as you can just see the shimmer less than a few inches Ooh. in front of your face. Can, can I change that? It's not even weird at all. It's just I thought I saw something show on the ground. I bend down to pick it up and cool. I dodge it through that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as you bend down and pick something up, um, you feel one of the sort of hairs on your head <laughs> just lightly singes. I've only got four left. <laughs> and when you put your head to it, you've got one hair is burned. Cool. Um, oh, Mikey. you still got... Uh, a bit of movement that's going to be your action it's full movement it's full action dodge. I've got a bonus, bonus action. action um I'm good I think there's not really anything else I want to do at the moment I'm I'm happy alright yeah I'm just gonna yeah cool carrying on yeah. ah 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 I very much need to see what's attacking me and I can't see anything uh you can so uh. you can have we're gonna do a bit of a ruling with this one mhm you can either, as your action, yep. make a perception check mm-hmm. as a straight roll. Mm-hmm. That's you, like, using your turn to properly, like, look. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or, if you want to have a quick glance, you can do it as your bonus action at disadvantage. I'm, I'm going to have a proper look around for, like, what what the, yep. the fuck? Make for me a perception check. Come on, don't fuck me. That is a natural is a, 20. Natural plus 20. Six. I had to lean in for a second to be like, is that cocked? But no, that is a natural That's 20. Natural 20. Who's coming for your boy? Okay. Right. Uh, with <laughs> a natural 20. <laughs> and you know what? It makes a lot of sense where you would get this, especially in this order. I hate it. You look straight ahead uh-huh. and you see as um, you're, as you're looking down, uh, you see as Gazix, one of Gazix's few remaining <laughs> hairs singes. And you see the shimmer just in front, and you see it just start to move. You turn around and you see the same thing just behind you, this faint shimmer, as you see what looks like two semi-translucent gelatinous forms are now closing towards you all slowly. Oh, good. Oh, lovely. Bonus action. Anything you want to do? I don't think there's anything I can do right now! Very well on their stealth checks. Tell us. Please. Let us know what's going on. I mean, yeah, tell them. Yeah, yeah, do that. Other streams I, are available. I tell them. But in those, you don't get me. I was talking one. about, don't worry. I, I, tell, I tell them, yep. Okay, bonus action, anything else you want to do? Uh, no, 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 no. Groovy. Okay, no. right, that is the end of your turn. Um, you are suddenly aware that there are these gelatinous cubes hey. in this place with you. We're about 10 feet from the door? Um, from the port You are 15 feet 15 from feet. the port okay. Okay. So sorry, so, so I went forwards as far as I yeah. knew. So I went towards the port or away from the port You colours? went towards the plain metal door. Thank you. Cool. Uh, and it is the go of the gelatinous, gelatinous cube cool. that's right in front of you. It is going to use mm-hmm, mm-hmm. its movement okay. to move forward and try and encompass you. Great. Uh, um, 
dodge action still gives me disadvantage. Dodge action still gives you. Um, so they've got disadvantage on this roll. Cool. Uh, this is one I'm not quite familiar with, but okay. Let's do speed. We'll do... Yep. Okay. Um, so it's entering your space. So mm-hmm. it's not making the roll against you. You need to do a saving throw. Okay. Uh, because your dodge action, you can have an advantage. Great. What am I? What do I need to beat? And I'll tell you. If you and beat it. what are dex con? Oh, dex, dex saving throw. Dex saving throw. Yeah. Oh, he's spicy that way. It's a uh, dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. You've uh, got advantage. Sixteen tonight. Yeah, it's been a long. Mm-hmm. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm about it. It's advantage. Oh, okay. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty is just enough. As this thing shuffles forward. Just enough. <laughs> it's just enough. <laughs> As this thing shuffles forward, <gasps> you can hear it kind of. And you throw yourself back. I hate it. I hate, it. I hate it. You <laughs> have to, with, with the <coughs> dirty twenty. Sorry. It's okay. Well, it's huh. enough to get back. You have to push yourself back as far as you can. Uh, it's come forward maybe 10 feet, mm-hmm. maybe more. So, sorry, am I on the other side of it now? Or? Oh, no, you've, it, you've been pushed forward. I've been back. pushed back. Okay, yeah, cool, yeah. understood, understood. From what you can gather with how close you are, <coughs> this thing is covering from width to width. Great. Cool. Okay, um, that's the Janata's Cube to go. Uh, Sasha. Mm. You've seen, and with the attention brought to these cubes, <laughs> you've definitely seen something is kind of shuffling forwards. Um, Gazik has thrown himself back and sort of glancing around. It's pretty clear now to all of you, even Gazik with his very, very low intelligence, they are sandwiching you in. Mm-hmm. Do I attack them or do I try and think of something stupid and clever? Um, yes. Stupid and clever? Or both. Both. Both is good. A stupid, clever attack. Um, all right. I'm going to cast Disguise Self. Okay. And turn myself into Count Otto. Ooh. I was wondering where that was going. Okay. Oh my goodness, goodness me, I can't remember what your voice was. Goodness, uh, uh, goodness, 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 goodness me, I, I seem to have fallen, I can't, can't remember that the cubes were here. Oh, oh no, back off, back off. Jeffrey, Godfrey, Godfrey, how do I turn the cubes off? It has no effect. Shit. <laughs> I, I like it. And when you understand, <laughs> there's a reason why that won't work. Ah, well. But I like I like it a lot. <laughs> you got spunk, kid. It's a shame I have to punish you for it. Yeah. Um, in that case, uh, all of a sudden, Count Otto will stand up right to go, Wait, uh, well, I think well I balls. somewhere. Where the fuck is it? <laughs> okay, uh, bonus <laughs> action. Uh, that's basically it. That's okay. That's pretty much all I can so, do, I think. Okay, cool. No, I just couldn't find um, it. Down we have Rose, Hugo. Uh, uh, do I realize that there's a squishy thing coming towards us? I've, yes, I've with, told. with uh, yeah. Okay, okay. And don't let daddy die. <laughs> can I, can I, can I run to the door at the other end? Uh, not without running through the cube. But, what? oh. There's the portcullis up the stairs or there's the door on the other side of the cube. Both of them have both cubes. Both have cubes uh, in the okay, way. I thought, oh, now I thought there was two coming oh. behind us so we yeah. just had to run to I the cube. Like one's on cube, this side, cube, one's on this side, you're in the middle and they're just Oh, coming. I didn't realise we couldn't get um, to the portcullis. Are they, are they... Well, that's the first time I've seen Jeff of panic. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, I've, I've, I've got a, a fast hands, clicky, clicky, lifty, run! No. Nope. But not if... Oh! Uh, is it, are they... Um, like encompassing the whole tunnel. Like, the is there room above? Space. Is there a room above? The entire space. Is there room above, though? Maybe? No. no. Okay, it's fine. like it's been designed this way. Fuck. Okay, fine. Um, Hugo is going to go, Ah, oh, Daddy! Don't let Daddy die, Hugo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Have inspiration. <laughs> thank you, sir! <laughs> oh, and... No, uh, D6 is a, re- is a re-roll. That's, yes, thank it's you. A re- that's, 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 that's one, thank you. 
Um, that was okay. really tickled me. <laughs> Let Daddy die. You <laughs> like know. The, the last thing a parent would ever say. <laughs> Don't let Daddy die. <laughs> Um, okay, and There'll so, be no more winter miss presents if you let Daddy die. <laughs> I was two parents in one month, Hugo. Um, uh, Hugo is going to fold his hand up to the one that's coming from the door that they want to go through yep. at the other end and uh, gather a little bit of green energy in his hand and yep. cast Eldritch Blast. Cool, all right. <laughs> Love it. That's Daddy's um, Warlock boy. Make your attack. I will it's be been so long since I've been a spellcaster. If you can miss this. Make a ranged spell attack. Uh, uh, seven, one minute. Where's my. Yeah, 17. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> and that is a d10 of. Four. Oh, wait, no, because it's a. Uh, oh, no, it's a fifth level. It goes up. Oh, wait, yeah, two. So it'll be two Eldritch Blasts because I'm level six. Yes, so you've got to roll the second one to hit. Yep, yeah, but now. Ooh, that's a natural one on the second one. That's going to miss. That's going to miss. Are you fighting? Yes. Okay. Or are you running? No, I'm um, not going to run. in a circle. Hey, buddy. You all right? I don't have the communication skills you and Sasha have. Hang on, sorry. I hate, I hate, I hate. I'm going to be back there next week, and it's going to be great. Three days. Okay, so there's a plus that you add to damage. but Uh, Do you have Agonizing Blast? No. Okay, so... It's just in general when you do... D10, then. Yes, a D10 plus something. Um, No, no, no. For Eldritch Blast, blast, it's literally just a D10. Okay, okay, fine. Eight points of damage. Eight points. Okay, cool. Um, Okay, so... Because I know with like my flail, it was yeah. Oh, with, with, I would do X amount of damage and then plus. With four. melee weapons, it's proficiency. You'll both be casting spells, it at just three. Yeah. You get two beans. Yeah, but yeah. um, I failed on the second one. I got an actual oh, one okay. on my second. Right, right, right. Okay, great. Um, you hold your hand out. One bean <laughs> with the sort of like panic flies off. Uh, the other one goes straight forward. <laughs> there is a kind of <laughs> yeah. uh, as you watch as the beam certainly hits, blows a chunk out of this huge gelatinous glob, but. It's now a bit more sort of like opaque with the eldritch energy like immersed in it, but it's still coming towards I'm you. Hiding between daddy's legs. Cool. <laughs> um, okay, and it Because I'm small as well, so I can actually you do, can that. do yes, that. I'm a very uh, tall man. It is the second cube's go. Uh, it uses its full movement of 15 feet <gasps> Just to, to close yeah, the rest of the gap. There is now 30 feet between each cube. Okay. Panic. All right. Mm-hmm. Top of the round. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't have wasted my Gazic. action on Sky's so. Sure. So Gazik <laughs> seeing this uh, is going to think for a moment and are they going to do something smart? Natural 20. Yes, they are. So Gazik seeing this, the first thing you're going to do, they're going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Mm-hmm. Um, so they concentrate for a moment and this cube in front of them is highlighted in radiant energy. Wait, now that's a spell, isn't it? Spiritual weapon is like an extra hit. No, no, but it's a spell to cast it. Yeah. yeah. So cancel that. I'm not going to do cast spiritual weapon. Okay. Seeing this, Gazik is going to look around and see that they're being closed in, and they're going to concentrate for a second, and they're going to phase through the, through the stone and just drop. And they're going to cast meld into stone. Oh, cool. And because the entire manner of stone, I am now in the floor completely out of the way uh, that is nice. my turn you fall through the stone so uh, meld into stone you step into a stone object or surface large enough to fully contain your body sure melding yourself and all equipment you carry with stone for the duration sure using your movement you step into a stone at a point you can touch I'm touching the floor yeah uh, nothing of your presence remains visible otherwise detectable by non-magical senses so you're just in the stone I'm in the stone that's a level 3 spell Okay, that's that's fine. <laughs> Knowing the architecture of this mansion, I now need to figure out if you die instantly. Nice. What? What? Rip. <laughs> oh, really? What? I know Get what's absolutely beneath absolutely here. Wrecked on this day. I said fat or something. Or okay. lava. I don't fall through to like my death. I just go in like to my height. To your height. Yeah. Roughly. I, mean, yeah. I can lie th- down on something if it makes it no, easier. No, 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 you said it. Uh, no, 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 no
So I am, by my D&D Beyond, check it out today, uh, four and a half feet tall, shut up. (laughs) Shilling something that we're... We're a good show, sponsor us. Uh, Four and a half feet tall. Uh, The floor's four and and a half feet thick. And about 805 pounds I weigh. Okay. Four and a half feet, straight down. I'm going to roll a d20. (laughs) Yep. That's the death save dice. Wow. Wow. (laughs) Wow. Wow. <laughs> six to 20. Yep. You're fine. Okay, fine. <laughs> if it's six to 20, you're dead. <laughs> One to five, you slip and you'll land somewhere else. Okay. Oh. Roll it on the table for all That's of us, please. That's what I'm going to do. Thank you. I'll be fine. Incredible. Natural Cox. 20. Ooh, let's go! You did the clock. You slip you down go. and you managed to hold yourself. <laughs> um, Poor Jeffa. However, Ow. given your height, <coughs> what you do feel is, you, as you slip right the way through, your head is just under the stone. Yep. You can feel that your your legs, your ankles, <laughs> are just dangling in nothing. Like literal nothing? Literal like, like, like nothing. void. There is void. This is not a deal. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, great. That's it. I can't, ca- oh God, I can't oh cast God, another oh spell. Obviously, I can't shoot inside oh God, oh the uh, you're thing. In, you're in stone now. <gasps> Wait. Never mind. So, am I like... How <laughs> thick is the stone I'm in at the moment, then? It is your height. I'm in a full... It's literally my height. So, yeah, I'm like... It's, it's a few inches, like, shorter than your height. Cool. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, that's <laughs> my turn. Oh my Very lucky, man. Okay, first. Cool. Uh, yep, that's me. <clears throat> oh, um, so awkward if you die. All right. Uh, <laughs> Jeffrey. Ah! 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 You have a child holding on to your calves. I know, but all I have is swords and chutzpah. <laughs> this music's banging. Ah! What Butterfly. can I do against gelatinous cubes with short swords? <laughs> ah! Throw them, your child, like crocus. I could pick you up and throw you at it. A longbow? I don't know. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any spells. I wasn't built what for this. Fuck. For the keeps going. There's one after this, uh, and then there's one at the very end. Yeah. Uh, I've so never, ever genuinely had no cube. idea what to do. You, and I just don't know what to do. Cool. I Sasha have cube. a long bow. I have two short swords. And okay. I have... Make a choice. Give Make us a decision. Out. You can throw at things. Five. I'm going to fucking longbow three, at the one that the two, left. One, longbow one at the left. The one dead ahead of you. Towards the metal door where you want to go on. Daddy towards yes. forward. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That one. All right. Uh, make your attack. Yep. Now sure. That, technically, it's within five feet of me. Does she get sneak attack? Daddy? Yeah. Yeah. Grand. Oh, no. It's a natural no, one. You're not en- no, I know. I'm not, not engaged. I'm not engaged. Right? It's fine. Yeah. I was mostly. Anyway, it was a natural one, so the point is moot. <laughs> oh, it's a natural one. There is again. High five, Daddy. I also rolled a natural one. Literally no space. Like. Yeah. You know, yep. Yeah. You could throw yeah. anything clumsily forward, and it would hit this thing. Yeah. And I. You somehow miss. <laughs> it's a longbow, and it's in a hallway. You, They're not made you for kind hallways. Of, you pull the arrow out, and uh, as as you look at this thing, you're like. Don't let I'm Daddy t- die. And I'm you trying just to line it up, and Hugh goes between my um, legs, and he just bumps me in a fuck. The, your uh, chrome head. <laughs> oh, does it? Do I take damage? No. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. Cube number one again. I mean, to be fair, a dwarf has just literally disappeared between my eyes. It I'd be moves like, what the fuck? Yes. Ten feet towards all of you. Yeah, it does. Yep. How yep. big are the cubes? Yep. 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 Twenty mm-hmm, feet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Of Ten it feet. Does. Cool. Yes, yes, yes. Covers the entire space. Cool. Lovely. Good yep, to know. Yep. Just check. Yep, 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 yep. Feral. Yep, yep, yep. Right, well, I'm, I mean, it didn't, my trick didn't work, so um, yep. I'm going to... It was to, a great, great oh, idea. You know, I'm full of terrible great ideas. Um, and Fresh I'm just going on. to, uh, having seen Hugo, I'm just going to... Yeah, Eldritch Blast. Uh, and I'm going to fire out uh, a ray of, of black energy um, towards uh, the ge- gelatinous cubes. Two blasts. Two blasts. Uh, uh, one on each. Two uh, on no, no, no. no. T- say on the same one that everyone okay. else hit. Yep. 
Uh, I mean, it's it's plus they, nine I, to yeah, hit. Yeah, yeah. there's do- yeah, it's huge amounts of damage. Tell me if you get a natural one. That's it. Or a natural <laughs> twenty, presumably. Um, yeah. Cool. All right. So you hit if it's anything but a natural one. Got it. Got it. Wow. Got it. What's that is so that is a total of a giant. Yeah. nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. Okay. Um, Rolled poorly on one of those. <laughs> that is absolutely fine. It's still coming. Yeah, not surprised. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else you want to do? Bonus action, movement. I just, I don't have any, like, I'm, okay, I'm going to make move myself to be as in the middle of them as I can. That, yeah. Like, basically, I'm just going to try and keep myself as much, like, give myself as much space as possible. Yeah. But I don't Equal, think I have any... equidistant between the two. Yeah, I don't have any bonus actions, I don't think Absolutely so. Absolutely fine. Uh, Hugo. Kapoof. Go for it. Again. Once more with feeling. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. oh my god. Then again. It was a natural, another natural one. Like father, like son. Yep. <laughs> that's daddy's boy. Yeah, well that's a six. <laughs> so at least that will hit, right? I just six. Nope. Yeah, six hits. Yeah, yeah, I know six hits. I have already got 120 today. She can't go in jail. You I avoided have no them other. by the skin of your teeth, mate. I hope you know. Uh, Six points of damage. Six points of damage. Okay. Damage. Yeah. Um, a few blasts on this thing. Again, the first one, you're panicked. <laughs> yeah. The first one kind of just veers off. Uh, this shooting from gelatinous between tube is just taking <laughs> hit after hit after hit. Uh, it's still, every single time you can see it taking a hit, you see a bit of this sort of like <clears throat> translucent, <throat> now kind of coloured by Eldritch energy, just globules of gel just splashing off to the side of. <laughs> But it's still coming. <laughs> the second cube, 10 feet of its movement, mm. comes up. There is now 20 feet between them. You're all sandwiched in the middle. I'm not. Top of the round. <laughs> Gazak, you are currently in the stone. Yeah, I'm just chilling. Yeah. Legs, little booties kicking out of the bottom. Yep, yep. Um, I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Yep. Uh, to get because I don't need sight to do this, to get a reticle up, and I'm going to target the one that is directly above me, because I can feel it moving yep. just above me. So yep. I'm going to do that, uh, and I'm going to make an attack roll against that. That's an 18 plus 6, so 24. 24 I'm guessing hits. it hits. So it's going to be a 1d8 plus 3 damage. Is this a ranged attack? Uh, it's, a, it's a magic attack. It's a spell attack. Does it have a range on it? Uh, 60 feet. So, disadvantage on the attack. Yeah, sure thing. Should I have taken disadvantage as well? You're not in melee range. It's on top of him. Okay. Right. 17. You're still... Yeah, it was just if you got a match. I like the barrel of one of my guns. <laughs> yeah, you're just... <laughs> so that's going to be... Uh, 1d8 plus six, eight, 8 points of... I guess... Uh, what kind of damage is that? Uh, radiant. Piercing if it's a gun. Well, it's it's gun for flavor. It's it's radiant. So we'll just oh, say okay. radiant. So yeah. eight points of radiant damage. It makes no difference. Yep. Yeah. Bang. Um, there's all of you see just a sudden like golden flash go up this thing. The one behind you is still translucent as all fuck. This one is now just multicolored. Um, anything else you want to do with your turn? There's nothing else I can do. I can't move, so I'm I'm stuck where I am. At the okay time. then. Going down next to Jeffrey. Woo! Um, uh, fucking, I'm just, I have literally nothing else to do. I'm gonna just fucking stab him with my short sword. All right. Maybe I can, like, stab a hole in a melee. boy. Um, you're running up to melee. Melee, <laughs> yep. She's on the brain, babe. <laughs> yep. Too soon, bro. Yep. It was Too an accident. Um, Mayway, melee? You kept calling me Mayway, so, you know. That was a year ago. <laughs> Okay, Oops. my next par- character is going to be called Melee. <laughs> two, two weapon fighting. Yeah. Can I stab stab? Oh, absolutely. Oh, hell action, yeah. Action, bonus action. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So your movement is to go straight up to it. I think that'll still hit. Yeah. I said... It's armor class is six. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, the... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The first one is a six. The next is a 14. Okay, both hit. Yeah. And because you have someone um, close by, you and will then get, I get sneak attack with this. Grand. Wait, though, these are d6. Well, let's roll the first. All right. That is a 10. Okay. 16. Plus 
plus another 16. I'm so, plus thank six. you. I'm so good at maths. Right. 22 damage total. Fucking rogues, man. What? But they can only do it once. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you, um. Yes. Uh, is that both weapons you've just done? Yeah, yeah. You didn't no, sneak no, attack. No, sneak attack. Weapons, I only get one attack around. Mm. They never get extra attack. Did you sneak attack both weapons? You know what? I'm. Mm. Yes. You rolled 4d6 plus the extra ones. You rolled 5d6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I rolled the right amount. Okay, great. I rolled uh, the right amount. Yep, you run up and just using short sword? Yep, using yep. Using your short ah! sword, you just start hacking your way through it. You Let me out! It's starting to sort of like seep into the short sword. Like oh, it, God. It looks like little bites going into the metal, yep, but, yep, yep, you know, yep. the, sh the sword is still functioning. It's still chopping. Still chopping. Um, you have cut off like large bits of it. You can see that this thing is now like no. starting to sort of waver. Chunks of it are missing. Um, you've still got the. You've still got about half your movement. You are in melee range with this thing. Yeah. You're staying there. You're pulling back. I'd, I'd you like doing? to just step back. Step back. Okay. Yeah. It's going to take an attack opportunity at you. Oh God. Ooh, and I've used my bonus action to do two arms, so I can't use can uh, uncanny dodge. No, uncanny dodge is a, dodge is a reaction. That's right. Ooh, so yes, uh, uncanny dodge needs a saving throw. It does. Yeah. But uncanny dodge halves the attack Message damage. You. Oh, it halves my the attack off. damage. We're trying to do it subtly. So. <laughs> oh, right. Um, twelve eight. Yeah. What? Yep. what? Yeah, I'm squishy. I pay the help to do this. You don't. Okay. Fair I enough. pay the help to What's do your this. Dexterity? One? Plus one. My dexterity is 12. Classic rogue. Classic rogue. rogue. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a white collar crime Typical, yeah. rogue, not a back alley stabby boy rogue. We oh. discussed this. Oh, yes. Of I pay the help. All right. Okay. Well, that, I'm, that I'm good you. at sleight of um, hand and convincing people to do what I want. Oh, this, you're not going to like this then. I'm, no, uh, but Uncanny Dodge oh. does half the damage. Daddy. That's a lot. Of, mm, but does, maybe I will Maybe I will inherit the family fortune. Uh, that is 11 points of acid damage. Okay, cool. What's that? Is that the halved? Um, is that the total? Halved, rounded down, five. I, I will take the five and just, ow! Okay, yeah, you ow. pull back to the middle ground. Uh, the cube that just lashed at you. Yes. Quickly following. Yep, of course it does. Closer. Yeah, it does. Now getting closer and closer. Yeah, um, real good. <clears throat> Love that for daddy. Okay. Uh, I'm still picking up. Oh, Jenny, no, no worries, no worries. No um, moving on, we now have Beryl. Beanie, oh. sorry. Beanie. 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 Beanie, what are you doing? Um, I mean, it's it's just it's blast blast time again. I think that's pretty much all we've got. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it hits. It's plus nine on anything, so. <laughs> wow, wow. As long as it wasn't a natural one. Yep, no. I don't know if I'm yep. armor uh, on. <laughs> Two hits. That's a bit better. That's 11. 11. I my yep. wrong. Um, yeah, 11 points of damage. Anything else? Didn't have yep, my nothing. Again, I'm going to just shuffle as far okay. away as I can. Another but huge chunk of the gelatinous the cube is blown right? out of the side. Yeah. Um, it's still coming. It's kind of like teetering now. Yeah, it looks like it's know. barely holding itself together, but it's still coming at you. Um, <clears throat> further down, we have Hugo. Um, um, I'm going to do what Beanie's doing too. Yep. Da -da -pew -pew. No, we're not going to miss this time. No. Yep, hits. 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 Hey. Great. Roll your damage. Uh, nine. Oh, nice. Uh, four. How do you vaporize this cube? Yeah. Ah! My um, my uh, Eldritch Blast go through it, and it's just being hacked at and smashed at and yeah. blown up by everybody. Then it just kind of goes and falls apart and kind of starts to melt. Yeah, it just <laughs> uh, all sorts of multicolored, just gelatinous whatever just spreads down the tunnel. Uh, it's gone. Um, and the other cube is still sort of slowly creeping I up. run, I run, I You're run towards, towards the, door. the door. Okay, that's going to be your turn. Bonus action, anything you want to do? Nope. Uh, can I get to the door? Is it 25 feet? You can get to the door. Excellent. Okay, I'm at the door. All right. Um, Actually, no, you would just be out of it. Just be out. Yeah, because you're 25 you feet. Are 25 feet. Yeah. Uh, okay, going down, it's the second small. cube, sir. Well, it's still small. pushing towards you. It's now getting deemed so close. You can kind of feel it nipping on your back. You're still okay, because you're a bit, Oh, I know. Yeah. I'm great. Um, top of the round, 
It's me. Yeah. So it was the one towards the metal door that got taken out, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Uh, in which case, I'm going to exit the stone. Yeah. I'm going to pull out my big gun. Yeah. I'm going to take a shot. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, that oh. is a natural 20! Natural 20. So 2d12 <coughs> of damage. Holy gunslinger. Uh, ah. 2d12. Nope. Uh, that's going to be 13, 11, 24 plus 4, 28 points of piercing damage <laughs> straight through. And then I'm going to use my spiritual weapon to get a little secondary spiritual shot off the back of that as well. All right. Uh, which is a natural one. <laughs> Uh, the spiritual shot. Swings and yes. Your first yeah, shot runs, is so tonight. good that it carves out a hole right in the middle, and your spiritual shot goes to the exact same place. Cool. Um, I got out of the stone, so I don't have any movement. So yeah. that, that's me. I am stuck to my spot at this point. Okay. Cool. But that's that's me. Yep. Uh, yeah. There's still quite a bit away from you, though, and you've got a fair bit of place to retreat. Great stuff. To. Um, good job, Jeffrey. Run to the door. <laughs> yep. Fast hands. What is there a lock mechanism that I can see? Nope. Just metal. Just door. I will spend my turn figuring out how if it's possible to get through this door in a in a roguish manner. Uh, yeah, uh, in a roguish manner, you would yeah, determine like, with your roguey rogue skills that it has a handle. Oh, ah. it's unlocked. Do you try it? Yes. It opens. Fantastic! I go in. <laughs> Yeah. You are. When you were like, yeah, there's no really lock, I was like, like just metal? Device. Just metal? Just flat? Uh, flat? Those yes, of you, I open and go through. Those of you who are looking. Bye. Mm -hmm. Daddy. My back is to it. I'm watching the key. Yeah. Daddy. You I see, mean, I as open the door and opens, run. and Jeffrey steps through to what to you seems like a normal room. Yes. And just vanishes. <laughs> Oh, that's so Sasuke. exciting. Ah! Um, uh, cube one is dead. Yes. Beanie runs on Beanie. through. Yep. Same process. Open the door. Looks like another corridor. Go through. Boom. Vanish. Back to Higa. I hold my nose. I go. <gasps> and run through. You've just seen a few people look horrified or stunned or surprised and run straight past you and then cool. no sound. What's the other cube doing? Uh, it's turn. Moves closer. Cool, I'm gonna do my two shots. So my big gun hits and my spiritual weapon it's also smashy. hits. So that's gonna be two to each 12, eight to eight, 12. So that's going to be a nine, 16. It's gonna be 20 points of piercing damage. Um, plus, uh, do I get bonus damage on uh, one d eight plus? So sorry, there's gonna be 16, so it's 20 plus 11, so 31 points of damage in total. Okay. Um, right. Okay, cool. Yep. That's it. And I'm going to use all still my movement to get to the door, but I'm not going to go through it yet. Still standing my ground and waiting. All right. No problem. Um, okay, so essentially the three of you are out of initiative. Grand. Uh, so I'm going to just kind of describe quite quickly what you can see in front of you. Mm -hmm. uh, there is uh, the, this other room. Uh it's quite a bit different. You can see there is a uh, what looks like a straight room with uh, another metal door at the end and a bit of writing just on the ground in front of you. <clears throat> it says, Here lies Sir Sigmund the Semantic, as vigilant in death as he was in life. It's a long corridor. There's just a door at the end. Okay. Uh, let's go through all of this. Uh, the cube is going to constantly be making its way towards you. Your back is to the door. With the amount you can hit it, the damage yeah. you can do pew, pew. to save time, it is dead. I'm fucking great. Yeah. Cool. Good. You um, pass straight through unless mm, you do otherwise. I'm not that smart. No, I'm going to go straight through. I'm going to like, I'm going to wander around. But I'm going to check, check the bodies. Do I find anything? No. No, then I'm just going to walk through. You see the exact same thing. The writing in the ground. It's a signal. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. Door at the end. Oh. <coughs> That's taking quite a turn. God, I miss Horace. <sighs> Who's Horace? He was my man for this sort of thing. Mm. He was the fighty butler. Yes. Oh. Oh, um, well, I'm going to... Um, <sighs> 
<clears throat> um, let's um, let's keep going. Yes. Um, Beryl very suddenly sort of goes like, oh, and takes off her kind of decorative armor. Um, she's just sort of wearing like a little leather kind of thing. Oh, right. Uh, and then I'm going to cast Mage Armor on myself. Cool. Yeah. No problem. You um, are protected. Cool. Um, just to so Now my AC is a bit higher. Um, and then I'm going to look at this floor and go, hmm. Well, didn't work last time. Let's try this again. Um, and she's going to cast Disguise Self again and become an alter again. Cool. Yeah. Where did, where did Beanie go? Well, uh, hello, my good. Hi, it's me. I just. Not very observant, are you, my friend? Um, I haven't got a clue. I, I genuinely think you are who you're disguised as. Yes, so I'm very, very good, very good. So, what's uh, happening in this room? I'm going to pull a rat out of my sack. Cool. It's just it's Vanessa. I'm earlier. going to walk forwards towards the writing on the floor. Okay, yeah. We, we send a rat ahead of us. Uh, you guys... Here lies Sir Sigmund the Semantic. Mm -hmm. Yes. As vigilant in death as he was in life. Mm -hmm. Lovely. That's it. That's, That's it. it. Walk past it. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Good stuff. 30 feet. Metal door at the end. You hear a, a cracking sound as Hugo breaks the rat's spine and crushes it. Oh. It puts, puts a bit much. back into the sack. We all cope with trauma in different ways. He's nine. Mm. And just seems to, some shadows appear around him and he seems a little bit fuller of life than he was um, before. Uh, Beryl is going to turn to the boy. Yes, yes um, boy. Who is your, who's your patron? Where do you get the powers from? <laughs> Sorry, it's a habit. I should stop. Um, who do you get your shadows from? Who do you get your shadows Gazzix from? Walk, she's walking on, as she's saying. Gazix yeah, also walking up. Yeah, it's cool. fine. Next Why? Yeah. Oh, well, I get mine from my mum. Who's your mum? Mummy. Oh, well, she's my mum. How does she have powers to give you? Well, I mean, she is. She's, she's technically called the Great Old One, but she really prefers not to be called that. Uh, Investigation check on the door. Is that um, Investigation um, check on the door. No. It's a door. Uh... Uh, it looks exactly the same as the other one. Metal door. Open it, you twit. Okay. <laughs> it's a door. Uh, I open the door. As you place your hand on the door and you jostle the knob a bit, a skeletal hand holding a single white glove within thumb and forefinger just comes out and slaps you across the face. Oh. <laughs> you take one point of necrotic damage. Oh! Smash. The hand retreats back into the door. No, delight. Well, let me let me try this. Um, I'm going to try the door. <laughs> hand comes well. out. Yep, slap. <laughs> well, one point of necrotic damage. Well, shit again. It's almost like they're not fools. One day this is going to work. <laughs> I can only hope for you. Small friend. Hi. Could you do the thing with your hand again? That was very interesting last time. Uh, yeah, I could. And I've got to use my uh, invocation to detect magic again. Yeah, um, there's definitely magic in this door. Uh, what? Sc what school of magic is it? <sighs> Whichever the one is with ghosts. <laughs> mm, ah. Ghost you magic. Say necrotic with undead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's like death magic. Mm. Yeah, uh. you, there's definitely some kind of ghost in this door. Ooh. Okay. Uh, however, ghosts. As you do that. Magic. You see the spectral hand come out of the door, lift it up, goes, uh, uh, uh. and then uh, turns uh, uh. and does this. And oh, looking up shit. in the center of the room, you can see what looks to be a metal coffin suspended by chains. As suddenly the door of the coffin, the business end facing all of you, goes, outstanding. I'm going to use my channel divinity. Oh, how tall is the room, by the way? Uh, 30 feet up. I'm going to use my channel divinity to use turn undead. Okay. Cool. What do I need to roll? Uh, you need to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, okay. One second. I don't, I don't like that the five minute time is just always there. This isn't awesome. What'd you roll? Uh, 18. 
you, yeah, okay, fine, you make it. <laughs> oh, um, um, I'm okay, going cast Mage Hand on the door and try and open it. Um, the hand comes out, flicks the glove at the Mage Hand. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, Hugo's eyes go black and his head like cracks to the side and he's going to hold out and crush with his hand and cast a spell magic on the door. Okay, uh, we are going to do a roll off on this one Ooh. because you are competing with the spirit for dominance here, okay? Yup. Guidance? Yeah, I'll allow it. Oh my god, I forgot I had inspiration! Um, <laughs> you get a d4. Yeah. So it's going to be your spellcasting <clears throat> modifier. Yep. Plus um, D4. So I think it's charisma for you, right? Yep. yep. Someone else eat these MMs. Okay. I mean, these non branded candies. Sorry, my spellcasting modifier plus a D4. So D20 like plus your spellcasting plus your D4. Okay. Uh, <laughs> good luck. That looks like you rolled really well. It's David. Oh, oh. and I didn't. Oh, I really didn't. <laughs> Uh, that's that going to be a cool nine altogether. <laughs> As the uh, energy of the ghost comes oh. you back <laughs> on the coffin again, you can now see that the door has actually come off the hinges. The only thing that's holding it in place are these chains that mm -hmm. seem to be rapidly weakening, running out of time. What's happening? Mm. So, do you just attempt to dispel magic? Yep. And I have one spell slot. <sighs> it's magic, it's not a trap. Okay. So, I can't just. I can't disarm it because it's. See, it's seeing this. I could try. Um, yeah, I've only got two any thoughts? Slots, it's level six. Before I are. Uh, Warlocks, man. Oh, by all means. Um, by all me have a go. You seem to be better at this sort of thing than me. <sighs> I can magic at it. Um, I'll cast Eldritch Blast at it. At the door. Same effect. Yeah, sure. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Yeah, cool. All right. It seems foolish, <laughs> but I'm, g I'm gonna try fast hands and see if I One can disarm of the chains. it comes loose, the coffin just hanging now, about to fall any second. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try fast hands. Um Glove comes out, slaps you. Yep, yeah, fair. One necrotic damage. Dispel magic. You know what? It was worth a All try, right. but uh Trying it again. <laughs> I ain't got dispel magic, my friend. No. Guidance. Guidance, okay. <laughs> Stop stealing my thing. Go and get him. Oh. I think you're the first. <laughs> Go on. Oh, Am I adding another modifier on top of this? Your spell, spell casting. Modifier. 24. 23. <laughs> oh! There is a... <laughs> um, the sort of skeletal hand just... Uh, the door just comes open. At the same time, the Here coffin falls down. Go, 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 go. breaks, and from it you see a figure hulking easily six foot, maybe six and a half foot tall, <laughs> in full plate armor, just sit up, point, and start just slowly walking towards all of you. Sorry, we, we don't have time. <laughs> later, later. <laughs> Goodbye, bye, 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 bye. You go through. Just walk through. The I'm door the shuts. Door <laughs> and you find yourself in a final room. The four of you come in. find yourselves in this room that's about 200 feet wide. Oh wow, it's a big room. Hugo, you're so small. About, mm, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about 45, 50 feet long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your eyes immediately caught by the wealth, the sheer magnitude of money, gems, jewels either side of you lining this you're sort of like you're being sandwiched into a 20 foot width walkway down the center whereas there are gold piles uh gold electrum platinum gems jewels circlets crowns every bit of wealth you could possibly imagine and just at the top at the very end you see some stairs going up about 20 feet and there's a pedestal on which you see a small scrap of paper just floating. What do you do? I smack Jeffrey. Send the rats, Hugo. Gazzik Bring me the scroll, Jeffrey. Immediately 
steps forward, looks at it for a second. Mm-hmm. Let him walk first, he'll trigger the mm-hmm. and then I'm a bit tired. If one of you would mind guessing this for me instead, uh, and I'm going to cast Charm Person on all three of you. You need to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Charm spell. Ha 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 ha! Mustn't help, sister! Mm. Yet. Bricked. Fair enough. There is the build up of the chart and you sensing it just poof, counter spell. One knows it's happened. Yet. Did the other two know what's Bricked. happened or just Beanie? Considering uh, that you are a, you're not a sorcerer, you can't like quiet cast this. That's fine. They know. I'm going to back away, back the fuck away from this motherfucker. Uh, I, I think, friend, possibly, you're going first. Mm, I'd rather not. Go on, make, have a go, have a go, Jeff. Have a go. Can't tell if Matt is Matt talking or his character. Both. I mean, uh, you know, you respect the hustle. You're bringing your son along. David. I cast Blade what's Ward on myself. Light, like in here? Is it really bright still? Yeah, it's fine. However, <laughs> you can't see any torches. Oh, There's no source of light. That's exciting. Yeah. Hmm. As Hugo backs up, his eyes go back again. He casts points. A sig- uh, sigil appears in the air in front of him, and he casts Blade Ward in front of himself. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do the same. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? Nice for some. I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to... You think you have charm. Clearly you lack it. Get over there now! And I'm going to try and intimidate him to walk ahead of us. Okay. I'm going to use that inspiration. Oh, 17 and an 18. What do you want me to roll on a opposition? 18 plus... Um, like wisdom a, saving throw. Sure. 21 total. 21. Oh! Rollies. Let's go with gay dice. Come off. on, gay dice. Sixteen. Okay. Doesn't count because it wasn't in the tray. Oh. Well, it doesn't count because it wasn't an intentional roll. Yeah. Like all right. Yeah. Okay. Because you did it would have failed. With purpose, but, all right. Purpose. Let's see. You win. <laughs> you <sighs> pulling up like all of the height in me and towering over you. Get over and there like, now. You know. Reluctantly, I start walking up and like walking directly (laughs) towards it. Keep an eye out, definitely, making perception checks unsuccessfully as I go. Um, I mean, it's a room full of treasure and the scrap of fate on a pedestal. Cool. As I'm going, I am going to cast and um, find traps just to see, detect if there's anything in the way as I go. Give me the spell. You sense a presence of any trap within range that is within line of sight. Okay. A trap for the purpose of the spell includes anything that would include a sudden unexpected effect. You can consider harmful or undesirable. Uh, it would affect an alarm, a glyph of warding. So basically any any trap which is harmful towards me mm-hmm. within 120 feet, I would detect. It does not ping. Okay, cool. A waste of a second level spell. Um, great. I walk up yeah. to the chest. Yeah, uh, pedestal, scrap, just floating on top. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fuck, can I do something? Yeah, of course you can. Uh, my mage hand is gonna try and see if it can get it, pick it before he gets What's there. What's the range on mage hand? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a good point. 30 30 feet. Feet. You'd have to get closer. Yeah. Right. You can do it, but you need to get close. Yeah, I sneak forward a little bit behind okay. him. Yeah. Uh, it's as your hand <laughs> is reaching toward the scrap of fate that a mage hand just comes out of nowhere and goes straight through it. Ooh, knew it. You hear a <laughs> behind you as you see Count Otto step into the room behind all of you. Well, it would seem that the four of you have made it through the traps. Very, very impressive. I don't believe it's been done in hmm, many Many years. Uh, he puts his hand just beneath his face Aww. and pulls up this kind of fleshy mask Dang as you it. see beneath this old visage of this late 50s man, the sort of young, youthful eyes 
of a human seems to be in his Old early twenties. Drops this mask to the side, long black hair cascading halfway down his back. The cane, he goes, well, the cane suddenly transforms into a rapier. He runs his finger down it, looks at the four of you. Goes, Do you have any idea how much planning this takes? Oh no. Yes. Sorry. Oh no. Yes, indeed. You're all going to die now. I haven't had child before. That'll be fun. And as you watch, his fangs start to protrude from his mouth. It's the Lexi cast off. <laughs> Let's see you. <laughs> well, I'm rather impressed. No one's quite made it here. Oh, you have any idea how boring this entire thing is? I spent so long. It's a little fun game, no? Watching you deal with my traps. This was too easy. Honestly, I didn't think you'd make it past the cubes, though I rather hoped you'd fall through to your death. Sorry to disappoint. No, oh, it's okay. All mortals disappoint in the end. Oh, so you don't work for him. No, no, I'm just here to have fun. This is fun. Well, you know. Sorry about the charm thing. Look, 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 look that worked out. Uh, everyone protect um, the child. Just before we presumably <laughs> all die. Yes. Um, Daddy. Uh, do you mind if I just ask my acquaintances some questions? I think this is bad timing. Um, <laughs> yes, of course I mind. No, but... You that know, would get in the way of me killing you. Yes, but by, by mere seconds. And you might be curious. I just want to know what they'd have written on the scrap of fate. Do you not want to know? The scrap of fate doesn't exist. I know. But... Wouldn't, isn't it interesting to know the oh. reason that everyone came down here in order to find out what, you know, why? Fine, yes? fine. Are you not curious? I'm well, I've, I've been alive trap. for a thousand years. I'm sure I can wait a moment longer. It, exactly, and it's your trap. You get to know exactly what yes, you learned. Yes, 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 go, go, go. Oh. So, um, yeah, what did you all want to, to write on it? It's point in my head. Mm, fix this. Just fix, <laughs> fix that? Just get my brain back. Oh. Don't worry. That's not going to be a problem for much longer. You see, you're enjoying this. This is this is this is good. What do you mean? And um, don't oh, don't worry. Um, and <laughs> and, and what about you two? What 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 uh, purpose? Well, darling son, it's for the family. Casual insight check on Sasha, please. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, 14. She's being completely odd. Are you fucking evil? Are you fucking evil? (laughs) Unicorn pate sandwiches. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you're in good company. My mother is the great one. (laughs) You're in good good company. It's fine. (laughs) For the family, for what purpose? Power. Without that bit of paper, my wife will die. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Again, it worry, doesn't Jeffrey. exist. <laughs> we'll give you another way to work off your debt. Smashing. <laughs> hmm. Shall we kill him now? Well, I can't pay you if I'm dead, so yes, let's. Um, ah, but rather interestingly, wouldn't you rather help me kill them? Wisdom saving throw. <gasps> that could have enough. just been a, that could have been a <laughs> persuasion roll right there. I missed my dice tray, which is my glasses case, but I rolled a 17. Plus. Mm, zero. I'm not a wise man. Uh, How do you think I got here? I'm very clever. Oh, 17 <laughs> is the saving oh, throw. Yes. Jeffrey. I mean, you almost had me. It w- these two, probably that one, would have been fantastic. But me taking Quick you Quick question, on. is this the same creature was in the coffin before, or is this different? This is different. Okay, cool. This just just wanted to double check that, thank this you. This is a vampire. I really do need Horace for this sort of thing. So these three will be my Horace 3.0. <laughs> oh, are you quite good in a fight? 
Me? Yes. Not particularly. No, well, that's disappointing. Well, I, mean, I suppose I'd best kill all four of them. I shoot you. <laughs> I immediately pull Consent out my big gun. Time now. Boom. Because you have. Mm. Come on. Mm. Let's go. Uh, okay. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. Roll initiative. <sighs> I'm glad I've got mage armor and six. Got some tasty temporary hit points. Wait, is this initiative for everyone or initiative? Yeah, what's initiative this for everyone. God, that was a journey. Six for you, Matt. Yeah, six for me. Rose. Uh, thirteen. Ten. Three. What's your dexterity? Oh, it's actually oh. Plus two. Plus two. Okay. Um, uh, wait, you roll what? Oh. I rolled six. Oh. Not uh, good. Ten, thirteen. Okay, so I go first. Okay. Uh, um, what did you roll, Flash? Rose. Ten. You're the first to react. You see, um, you see, as your companion is bringing up uh, his rifle, ready to fire, Gazik levels it, but you're first to react. You see there's a sudden shift as everyone gets ready for fight. What are you doing? How close am I to any walls? Um, you, looking around, you can see the entire room, these huge, vast swathes of treasure, either side, just melt away. All of this goes. You, uh -oh. all of you, are on a 20 foot passageway. Either side of you is a bottomless drop. Oh. No walls. No walls. Delightful. There is one wall this way. You are approximately 15 to 20 feet away from it. All right, and how far away is Vampire Bastard? Sorry, I had to put him down. Mm -hmm. Oh. He, coming in, he probably would have walked to about here. Okay, interesting. Um, go big or go home, I guess. Cool. I'm gonna. Can how many? Sorry, I'm fucking fine. How much movement would it take me to get to the wall? The only wall. This one. Uh -huh. Um, going through his sort of zone of control, <gasps> about twenty feet. Or you could use your full movement yeah, and go to. No, never mind. I just realised I have one spell slot left, and so I'm gonna use it. To <laughs> damage. Uh, cool. Uh, Thirty foot cone. Okay. In yep. his direction. You can hit him. Yeah. Just him. Fantastic. Cool. Uh, I'm going to cast psionic blast. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Uh, da, 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 da. Dexterity Ooh. saving throw. Dexterity saving throw. Natural twenty. That's tragic. That is really tragic. Uh, you take half of 5d8. I'm Holy thinking crap. that you can use inspiration to impose disadvantage on... <gasps> you are incorrect, yeah. I think ah. it's, not only, it's not luck. Good try. Dream big. Dream big. Uh, oh, and that's really bad damage as well. Two, four, five, ten, one, one more. more. Uh, 16 points of damage, so eight points of damage. Eight points. Thank you. Good. Okay. Of psychic damage, um, oh, and nothing happens because you saved. None of none of the fun stuff uh, saves. You see his ears start bleeding, his nose nose starts bleeding as this sort of wave of psionic energy hits him. Sort of like pushed back, he goes sort of back a little bit. His hand up. Anything else you want to do in your turn? Uh, Hugo is like twitching, truly like grudge yeah. child eyes, color of midnight, and weeping darkness at sight. Leave that's it. Okay. Uh, it's now his turn. Or he's gonna, sorry, move as much as he can towards that far... Towards you, Dad? Happy. No, thank you. I'm gonna move to the edge of base of those stairs over there. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I have a laser pointer somewhere. Uh, yes. For the start of Reinhardt's turn, <sighs> he sort of posts himself up and you watch as the blood flow just stops. His body starts to regenerate. Oh, I should have taken chill touch. He looks at all of you, just goes, Eeny, right here in this hand, Eeny, 
Meeny. Miney. <laughs> Mo. Uh, he's going to use his full movement <laughs> to so rush to over to like you. So he's got 30 feet. That's one, two, three, he's watched four, too much five, office. Six. 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 He's not going to make it all the way to you this time. Not close time. enough, motherfucker. Um, he looks up at you, uses action, goes, Aren't they such a pain? Wisdom saving throw. Uh, should be fine. 21. You're fine. Yeah. Uh, you feel the vampiric charm, but you fight it off. Uh, that's going to be his go, Sasha. Uh, cool. Um, yeah, okay. Beryl's just like, oh, here we go again. Um, and she's going to cast her two Eldritch Blasts. Okay. And so. Uh, that is. I suspect a 13 won't hit. Correct. Um, but I expect a 23 does. A 23 does hit. Cool, okay, so that is. 10. Five points of damage. Five points of damage, okay. Um, anything else? Um, she's. I mean, she's already backed up as far away from him yep. as she can be, so that's kind of it. Um, and she's, yeah, she's just gonna be like, what's the point in this? <laughs> uh, he just looks over his shoulder and he goes, uh, as your Eldritch Blast just hits his shoulder, like knocks away part of his suit, she goes, because it's fun. Mm. Um, that's your turn, mm -hmm. Matt. Me. Right, well then, uh, there's a few things I wanna do, but it's like, I'm not great on the spell slot side. Um, We'll take a short rest. <laughs> yes, cool. yeah. short rest. Yeah, I think you take an yeah. hour without him touching yeah, yeah, me. It'd be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, mate. Okay, um, I'm just gonna pull my gun out. Yeah. And just shoot him. Sounds good. Nope. No, you're not. Haha, <laughs> JK. I kind of like struggle a little bit, and it doesn't quite pop off. Okay, fine. Um, bonus action. Who's who's looking the most hurt at the moment out of my, out of my everyone crew. looks all right. Uh, probably Jeffrey. Actually, yeah, took a bit of a uh, six. I've had six whole damage. Oh, okay, no, you're fine. Then. Yeah, I'm fine. For now. Okay, cool. I'll be alright. Um, bonus action. Then I'm gonna like put that same ridicule over over our boy. Cool. I'm gonna go again. Uh, that should hit 24. 24 hits. 24. 1d8. Plus three, five points of radiant damage. Five though. points of radiant damage, okay. Um, you hit him with the spiritual weapon and he just kind of snarls like, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh this will be fun. Um, he, he's aware you exist. Huh. Right. Um, anything else you want to do with your movement? I mean, <laughs> Actually, yeah, I will. I'm gonna move, use my full 25 feet yep. to move around, so I don't get so, attack um, machine. But I'm gonna get behind the child. <laughs> 25 feet. It's not a child. I heard them talk. <laughs> I know that's not a child. Uh, wait, yeah. wait, wait. You can use your movement together, uh, Jeffrey. I know that's not a child. No. Yeah, I don't want to get anywhere uh, near that guy. I'm gonna longbow. What was that? We can. Gonna what you said. boom. Long longbow, longbow the boy. That's fucked up, y'all. With a 19? 19 plus? Hits. Yeah, yeah, hell I guess yeah. You're so child. That's uh, one of these bad boys right there. Don't even go in the thing, but that's okay because it's 7 plus 1. 8 no, points of damage. Yeah, 7 plus 1. Nice. Eight uh, damage. Yeah. You fire the oh, arrow yeah. at him, just sort of hits him in the chest. He looks particularly annoyed by this now, given that he currently has a radiant gunshot in his side. I assume use an object. Does not count as firing my bow again. That would be correct. Okay. Okay. <laughs> In which case, that's all I do. Top of the round, you go. Okay. This our boy here. Yep. Fucking, fucking, instead of pointing. Mm -mm. This, he's here, right? Yeah, that's it. It's a rat. Why is it a rat, Jeffa? Um, <laughs> it's not my torch. I, I uh, Hugo Unleash is just kind of gonna rats. get on his hands and and start to skitter to the side, making ungodly, fiendish noises. Like a rat. And scream towards Reinhardt and cast Mind Sliver. 
Okay. Intelligence good, good, save. Good, 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 Intelligence good. save. Okay. Um, let me have a look. Have you right. considered Unleash the Rats? Ah! There it is. That is a nine. Ooh, does not make it. Okay, so okay. you take uh, oh. one point of psychic damage, okay. but next save he has to make, he takes minus a d4. Okay. Yep, so he kind of, he just he puts his hand to his head and lets out this scream. Uh, since Radiant Damage hit him, he's not been enjoying this. No, I bet. This has stopped being fun for him. Hugo Aww. like pukes like a bunch of black <laughs> ichor and a massive rat body falls out of his gullet as well. Son? That's daddy's boy. So, um, <laughs> weird sort of moment when you realize you've not created the bad guy. Okay, uh, <laughs> it's now Reinhardt's go. He, mm, you're irritating him. Is that all? But you are the most dangerous and he's smart enough to know that. Okay, he is going to use his yet. movement <laughs> to rush over to you. Um, and first of all, he is going to use, uh, he's going to try and make a grapple check. Mm -hmm. He tries to grab you and lift you into the air. What do you need me to roll? Um, he three. is going to roll That's to see if he That's all in his bag. <laughs> That is a natural one. He'll see he's yours. So he's you don't have to roll anything. Two! I want a two! What did I save? Um, no, no, no. Okay. no. Still, it's a two, so it's. I mean, with a natural uh, one, you don't yeah, need to. He much. reaches out to grab still, you still and misses because. Ah! You know, you're fine. Ah! Uh, ah! And instead, he goes, <laughs> pulls back ah his rapier and goes to stab down at you. Oh, um, no. That is going to be a uh, 18 to hit. Just hit. Just hit. Okay. You take from the D8 11 points of damage. Okay. Noted. Okay. Is that it? That's it. Cool. For his bonus action, he. That's it. This is. That's all he's going to do? Okay. Um, yes, this is. Um, I mean, there's literally nothing else I can really do, to be honest. So I'm just going to keep Eldritch blasting this guy. Sounds from like afar. a plan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, she mm -hmm, wasn't mm -hmm. lying when she was like, "I'm not great in a fight. I sort of have. I'm a one-trick pony, realistically." <laughs> I mean, every warlock is a one-trick pony with Eldritch blast, <laughs> right? Uh, those are kind of terrible. Um, so that's a 14 and a 15. The 15 hits. Okay, cool. Well, that's that's nice. Um, let's do this one. Another five points. Another five points. All adds up. Okay, great. Uh, anything else you want to do? Bonus action? <laughs> um, no, uh, bonus action, she might just concentrate really hard and be like, Mummy, I'm in such a pickle. <laughs> mm, Mamatron. Make a charisma check. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Uh, you both, I don't know. Mm. Um, three. So. Plus four, seven, like, yeah, you know. You hear in the sort of back of your mind, well, dear, you have to be independent sometimes. Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, why tonight? I hate parties. Yes, but you must enjoy them. Uh, We're going to yeah. have words. We're going to have words. <laughs> Like, yeah, like sugar fair. baby. Nah. But it's me with my six. I'm to do this for Am six. I yeah. next? Yeah. Jesus, all right. Daddy, I need cool. Your Seeing things aren't looking no, no, great, like uh, I'm course. going to concentrate for a second. Mummy, I'm, I'm having sorry. a tough time. I'm going to sorry. concentrate for a second. Yeah. And my, my quite dull armor is going to glow. Ooh, and llama. Sun, my armor. Oh, dull. And it's suddenly going to, my quite dull armor is going to suddenly glow and then flash immediately. I need everyone. You dick. Bad guy and all of you to please make a constitution saving through DC 15. Oh. All right, no, so next the next attack is on this fucker. Uh, that was my dumpster. Because he's in dad, right? Yes. Can we touch this dice? I've been looking at this. Oh, wait, maybe no, no strength with my dumpster. Mm. Like. What was the DC? 15. Oh, I save. <laughs> Fails. So. Good. Con save. Uh, uh, oh, what's the DC? 15. Fuck. 14. Cool. 12. Okay. You, you, you did. So, nothing happens to you. Uh, the rest of you take 12 points of radiant Ew, damage. Butthole. Uh, and you are blinded until Ew. your next turn. Okay. Cool. 
Uh, I'm also going to use my spiritual weapon to make a shot off. He's blinded, so that'll be an advantage. Yes, it will. Uh, 15 plus a lot. Hits. So it's going to be a bonus of d8. It's going to be 7 plus 4. It's 11 points of radiant damage as my rifle. All right. Yeah, cool. Uh, and I'm also going to use my rifles. full movement to get as far away as possible. Okay. Um, um, he can make an attack of opportunity. He's blinded, but it will be a disadvantage. That's fine. <gasps> can you get me? Oh. Do you want a laser pointer? Nope. You're fine. I'm fine. It might be too late. Can I use Uncanny Dodge to half that damage? Yeah. Yeah. Grand. Thank you. Yeah. Let's see what's happening. Uh, I'm just going to get away as far as quickly as possible. Um, cool, and that that is that is my turn. And I just want to have a quick glance around. Is there any treasure anywhere? There's nothing. Completely bad. Well, I feel bamboozled. Cool, that's my turn. All right, um, Jeff. Yo, uh, blinded till the next. I'm blind. Uh, I think it's till the end of your turn. And oh, you are blinded oh. until the end. On a failed creature and blind to the end of its next turn. Yeah. So you'll be able to see after this turn that you're currently on. Yeah. Well, then, uh, buttholes! There's nothing I can do! I need my eyes! Roll with disadvantage. I mean, yeah? Get me out of here, Jeff. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh, no. who's, the, who's the daddy now? Do you know what? I'm just gonna fire blindly, cause fuck it all. Oh, here I go. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, before you do that, um, roll for me a d8 and tell me what it is. Sure. Oh, fuck. That'd be an eight. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Now, disadvantage. Yep, 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 yep. It was an, oh, an 11 and a 20. 11 plus what? Um, plus one. 12. 12. If I'd thrown a short sword, it would have been 15, but I like Hugo, my swords, I don't want to throw them. <laughs> 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 12. 12. It hits. Yeah, great. <laughs> Daddy loves you. <Right. laughs> Daddy loves you very much. This is concerning. It's a uh, five. Five points of damage. Oh, oh, I, I can feel your wife dying. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, um, that's going to be your turn. You I'm can't. not so angry, I'm just disappointed. You've just been hit by an arrow. How much uh, damage was that again? Five? Five, I can yeah, see okay, again. Cool, cool. I can see again. You can see again. See again. <laughs> you see that you've just hit the sun with an arrow. Mm. <sighs> He's adopted. I'm really <laughs> I love that you've gone for really like weird family <laughs> dynamic and I've gone for extremely wholesome but family dynamic. Weird. But both warlocks. Yeah, but equally weird. Equally like, weird. Like, and both evil. Oh yeah, both evil. Role yeah, playing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, okay so I'm blind. <laughs> yeah, um, yes, yeah. The end of this turn. All right, so I want to get a bit abstract here, so it's going to be DM. Can I take my reach blindly to the bag of rats, bag of infinite yeah. rats that is on my hip? Yeah, you know that's on your hip, so that's fine. Exactly. Yeah. And if I just turn it upside down and try and unleash a, whatever would equivalent of swarm of rats would be and command them to eat the person I know to be directly over me. Okay. Animal handling check, I guess. Animal see. handling check. Cool. Uh, so, because yeah. you're emptying a lot of rats and you are right next to a bottomless pit. Oh so, no! So quite a few rats are going to immediately fall down the pit. <laughs> like lemmings. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, well I mean, yeah. can I roll to see if I pour the rats in the right direction? I don't know, I don't know, you tell me. It's just, he's um, on the floor with an arrow and I mean, you know where the floor he reach, is. He reaches to the you aim in the direction sack. of the floor. Just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, that's absolutely fine. How many rats do you get? Like 12 or something? Well, whatever uh, swarm equivalent is, sure. and for or whatever I can shake out hmm. in a turn. Hey Google, like, how many right. rats in well, a swarm? Let's say you can do a swarm of rats. Rip everyone with Google. Um, yep, that is absolutely fine. Eight. Because uh, they, yeah, animal rats will handling eat people. Check, um, because you are doing your evil Seize voice. Feast your dreams and feasts upon voice. your screams. We don't talk about Hugo, no, no, no. And Disney shuts down the stream. Thank you for watching. Uh, we'll be back. A natural one, but I had advantage, thank fuck. 15. 15. The rats know. 
Um, the rats are going to go on your initiative. Cool. Uh, it'll be their turn next. I will just roll for them, though, for expediency's sake. They are going to go... Do you want me to look up swarm of rats so I can I've run them? Okay, cool. They are just going to go in. They miss. Okay, that's their it's turn. It's a confusing Wait, was, it a, was that a save that he just made or did no, he attack? No, okay. hit. The, okay. If he's making a save, I'll buy it. I'm remembering for that D4, that sweet yeah. nine sliver D4. Uh, okay, right, cool. It is now, is mine sliver concentration check? Sorry, once more. Is mine sliver concentration? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's my only fucking okay. one that isn't. It's not, no. Okay, right. All right, it's now his go. Concentration. He is blind. What's he gonna do in his turn? Okay, let's think. Oh, um, can I, can I try and move away with my movement? <laughs> you can certainly try. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. He is but a weak. He's already used his opportunity attacking against me. He has. Yep. Yeah. Cool. That's not what's concerned no, me right now. Okay. Yeah. Just, just, just saying. All right. Uh, you are blind. Yep. This is incredibly dangerous. <laughs> but I can feel, I can feel that the step is in front of me because I'm literally up against it. So, I'm gonna say, you can make for me a perception check at disadvantage to orientate yourself, but with the rats, with the arrow, with everything, okay. it's, and you can't see. Make a perception check, disadvantage. Um, 14. 14, all right. Yeah, you reckon you have a good standing on which way you can go. <laughs> so I'm gonna go up the step. Okay. You go up the step. Wow! Uh, now here's the question. Oh. How much are you running? I'm gonna run. So I know that because I've seen this area, I'm gonna yep. run up to the second up the second step. Okay. Yeah. With that, because you have had a good look. Yeah. 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 If you hadn't, you would have just I, kept running. Yeah. If I said off. full speed, I would have. Yeah. <laughs> full speed. Full movement, you're gone. Yeah, cool. That's it. All right, cool. Uh, it's his go. Um, he is going to try and orient himself. Oh, and well. when Hugo runs, by the way, is like. Oh, That's horrendous. Burn it with fire. I hate it. I uh, hate ah. it. Oh, I'm going to kill it. No. You see, as he just goes. Um, he rolled exceedingly well. And he is going to run straight towards where he can sense the most people, okay. which puts him here. Oh, good, Aye. good, 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 good. Yes, good. So with a disadvantage, yep, sure. he's going to attempt to grapple the first thing in front of him, which good. is you. Good, good, yes, wonderful. 61. Can't roll for shit. It's two on the dice, two and 11. I nearly took okay. a magic card. Okay, and in the his next like thing, people? he is going to try and stab where you are. Uh, it's going to be the same roll. That's a lot better. Dirty 20. In Tropic Ward. Okay. Ooh. I'm going to impose disadvantage on you on that roll. You already have disadvantage. Oh, on that one as well? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's blind. I won't, I won't bother them. Um, cool, yeah. D 20. Oh, 20 hits. Uh, with it. He's stabbing, right? Yes. Cool. I get resistance against uh, any bludgeoning, piercing, slashing damage dealt by weapon attacks. Five points of damage already reduced. Lovely, thank you. Okay, great. That is his turn. You have hit him with radiant damage, so he doesn't regenerate. If I'm... Yeah, you yep. did, didn't you? Yes, yeah. I did. Mm -hmm. Okay. A couple great. of times. Mm -hmm. Yes, so you're fine. He's not regenerating. He's making him very, very <laughs> angry. It's now your go. He's he's hit me once. Okay. Um, piercing damage? Rapier. 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 Yeah. Uh, okay, so... He's starting to slow down. Um, he's good, starting good, to... Okay. Good, 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 Even though he's right in front of me, I can still cast Eldritch Blast on him. Will through. be disadvantaged. It will be disadvantaged. Even though uh, actually, wait, no. Advantage because he's blind, straight roll. Cool. Um, all right, in which case, I'll roll my two roll my two beams. Yep. Oh, oh my wait, God. no, no. Disadvantage because it's the end of his turn. He can see now. Shame because I got a natural 20 on one of those. Oh. Um, but those are for my two beams. So I'll, <laughs> like... So it would be disadvantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll take the lowest of that one, yes. and then I'll roll again for the second beam. I apologize, so, that's my bad for not being quick enough. No, 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 no that's all right. Um, so that's one beam, which is a nine plus three, so 12, so that misses. misses. And second beam, another fucking natural 20, but the other one's a 19. Jeez. Oh. Oh. I mean, the dirty 19 will do it. That was, that was, oh my God, two natural 20s. That's oh, right, mate. All um, right, damage. Anyway, damage, uh, let's use you. 10. No. 10 points of damage. Nope, one. 
Next one point of damage. Fucking D10s. One point of damage. Uh, yeah, it kind of just hits him and his body stopped regenerating. He just looks at you like... Just angry. Just, 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 he's disappointed. He tried to stab me. <laughs> me? Let's do it. Okay, where is he? He's not within range. He's within that. Not in melee range of you. No, he's not. Okay. You need to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Okay. Minus a d4, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that is... Um, ooh, 15. Just passes. So you take half damage. Uh, so it's Sacred Flame. You take uh, nine halves. So it's four points of Radiant. Which is still radiant. Still radiant, and then uh, I'm gonna get another shot off with my spiritual weapon. Is it still on mm. you? Uh, ah, natural two. That's gonna miss. He just kind of neos out of the way of it. All right, all right. Uh, Good for school. Uh, and then I'm just gonna make a wide berth. I'm gonna run up the stairs. So uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 20. I want to get close to Hugo actually. Can I get in range where I can touch Hugo? This is the furthest you can get with okay. your movement. Okay, understood, understood. That's my turn. Okay, cool. Um, Jeff. Stab. Stab, all right. Make your stab. Stab. Just stab. Just we stab. Uh, oh, fuck, it's a five and a... F- it's five and four, I think. Um, Both of those are going to miss. Eight and a nine. Both of those are going to miss. I don't think I get any sort of... Yeah, no... Bonus action? Mm. Oh wait, no, the action on bonus um, action. Double checking if there's anything from sneak attack because of being... You got your inspiration. I used that to get she, natural 20 yeah, they've used a that. different one. Yes. Uh, once per turn you can do the burr when you hit with an attack or range weapon if you have advantage on the attack roll, you don't need... Yeah, no, I, no, I just I just miss, man. Cool, all I right. just miss. Right. Top um, of the round, Hugo. Top of Hugo. Can, you I, can I like, stick my foot out behind him in case he steps back and he trips over? <laughs> sure, your foot's behind him. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're gonna have to move here to do it, but yeah. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Hugo. Oh, worry about hearing me. Um, okay, cool. See you Um, My vision clears. <laughs> Sorry. Bit of black bile down you. It's your own. I decided I don't like using my glasses case as a And pew pew, Eldritch Mass. <laughs> cool. Uh, b- 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 uh, uh, 12, no. Misses. Uh, b- 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 like 14, Misses. 15. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Not a great round. <laughs> no, not great. Uh, the sort of the Eldritch Blast just fly past, they hit the metal door. He just turns around and goes, I will get to you in a moment. As he does that, his hand shoots out. He's going to reach to grab you, oh, Jeff. Sorry. Uh, swarm of rats. Yeah. Sorry, the swarm of rats. Swarm yes, of rats. Right. They shot. are going to use their full movement to rush over to him. They're going to try and attack. That's going to hit. Um, okay, so they're doing. Let's do it here. You have blah, blah, blah. Two, three, six, eight, and damage. Uh, Reduced to three. Okay, great. Yep. The rats are just kind of like nibbling at his ankles. He doesn't look happy about it. It's like, we're going to have a long talk. Grabs, reaches out, and he just tried to grapple you. That's cocked. And I was going to say, like, after looking. Ah. That is a 17 to hit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to use my uncanny dodge to, like, oi, stop it. Um, uh, when did I last use that? Uncanny dodge. I it's think a reaction. It's a reaction once per round, so as long as they haven't used it before. Doesn't I haven't it used it. Just reduce damage. It halves yeah. the damage. Halves, halves. Oh, but okay, I'm cool. just throwing it out there, just like whatever the damage is, I'm gonna take half of it. That's fine. I'm just gonna be like, oh fuck. Uh, he's picked you up. Oh shit! Uh, he now has oh, daddy. right to move you. Yes. <laughs> he. That's right. Is going I'm to his move father. Uses <laughs> full movement. You will get an attack opportunity. Oh sweet. And he is going to hold you <laughs> over the bottomless pit. Uh, just brings you in. Uh, he's going to try and bite you. 
Ah, Daddy. Uh, 17 to hit. Yep. Okay. Do my attack first as you move away? I don't know. Please. No, sleep oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, I don't know, so I'm just no, going to try no, and... Was, I don't have any D6 spells yeah, okay. on me now. It's just nerves. Yep, go for With it. With a dagger. Uh, so oh, that is... Oh, yeah, that hits. 18 plus 5. 18 plus 5 absolutely hits. Cool, uh, but it's a poultry... Four points of damage. Four points of damage, all counts. Is it a magical weapon? No. Okay, he pick, He holds you out, oh, brings you in, bites down on you. Uh, you are going to take, um, okay, so in total, yes. reduced by half. Yes. Um, so that would be 10, I'm coming, 20, Maria. 24, 12 points of damage. 12, you, okay. And he regains Fuck. six hit points. I thought you were about to say 24 was yeah. the half damage. No, he took damage. any damage from a spiritual weapon. Uh, so that only stops turn regeneration, drawing blood. Understood. Different. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but, and he's, yeah, uh, and he is really holding you out. You the only really and and he is lucky, he's locked eyes with you. Shall we? Um, okay, Sasha. <sighs> okay. Um, okay, uh, I can find better help. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm least trying to intimidate the wrong group. <laughs> I'm just there, like, I'm gonna scoot back into this sort of, I'm not to right to the edge because I've just seen what's happened, so like, just one along there, yeah, yeah. Literally, I'm just moving slightly further away, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. Um, and then I'm just gonna fire my two Eldritch Blasts again because it's all I can do. Um, Warlocks, Warlocks. Aren't they fun? And no one took agonizing blast. Uh, cool. So that's uh, the lowest. There was a Both thirteen hit. plus nine. I, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, We're gonna save time. If you get a fifteen, you hit him. Yeah. Cool. 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 Uh, six, Still three, releasing. nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. He's mm. back down to forty. Right. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be a fucking. He kind of like staggers this. forward a little bit. Almost loses grip of you. You feel ah. it just lurch a bit. You're like, oh, oh. they're going to kill you before I do. Oh, please don't. Um, okay, great. Bonus action? I have no bonus action. Fantastic. <laughs> Matt. I'm going to try Turn Undead again. Okay. It's my last channel divinity. All right. So. Wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Is he still being affected by the mind deal thing? Let's, um, just, let's just say yes. Give it a baba. Give it a No, he's not. Scared man. I don't think it would matter anyway. Uh, wisdom. Mm-hmm. That is a twenty-one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got really excited for a second. Well. No uh, excitement. For I was like, doesn't matter anyway. Oh, because he fails. Yeah, no, that's fine. T-P-K. Cool. T P K. T T P K. Uh, but I still hit him with my spiritual weapon. So it takes another D8 of radiant damage. Okay. You can take another seven points. Oh, and I'm gonna get away. Slow. I want to get up to the chest, please. Absolutely fine. You Thank can do you. that. Um, yep, he's still holding you. Jeff, it's your go. He's got you. I'm gonna. Uh, so you're you're currently being grappled. Yes. You can't use any of your movement. He moves you on his turn. Yes. You still have your action and bonus action. Swords yep. step into him. Okay. Yep, go for it. This. Yep, it, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way. This way. Steps. In. Uh, Slay. yes. Oh. 18 and an 8. 8 plus 4, 12. No, no. but 18 plus 18 4. 18 hits. Yay. What is it, 18 plus 4? It's heaps, 22. There we go. Hey. <laughs> Uh, it's this <laughs> Say for the, the first one. He's not here. It's seven, and That's then I don't know if then we'll do the two more, and then we'll do the third. Uh, five, six. So seven plus and six. And one more because it's three. Sorry, no, it's five. I don't get the plus one on the, that one. Seven plus and five. Seven plus eleven. Seven plus eleven. Seven plus eleven was the three d six sneak attack. Okay, cool. Oh boy. All right. Uh, Step. <laughs> yep, you stab his foot. It just swords in him. <sighs> uh, you see that he is sorry to like is kind of hunch over engaged? a bit now. Yeah. Does she have an advantage? <laughs> no. 
There's no sneak attack on it because there's no. What? Awful. Then it's. Well, no. It's the cold. question is that like, I, I don't. Watch. Well, that's why I muttered this. Mm. Girl. Like, I don't know. I don't play rogue. What kind uh, of rogue are you? I don't remember. <laughs> are you a swashbuckler? No. Then you don't get sneak attack. Fuck. Okay, mm. right. So he is. Oh just, yeah, she's be... not within five feet. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. So he's on that. That's yeah. absolutely fine. He looks at you. I mean, just standing. With, that wasn't very smart, was it? You go. Oh god! All right, I'm gonna call out and say, "Really, I would like to. I would like him to watch his wife die if it means anything." Elder Blast. <laughs> Elder Blast. Roll them down my cheek as I continue to choke. Like this, if you cry every time. Okay. Uh, so okay. natural fourteen plus like seven. I'll hit uh, eight plus seven. Fifteen. Fifteen. Hits. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, one, six points, two, uh, ten points of force damage. Okay. <sighs> you can see that part of his shoulder is exposed. Like, the eyes have gone blood red. The anger now. I attacked with two swords. You're next. Two D6. Brings you in. He's going to try he and bite you again, swords. Jeff. Each does one D6. That's not how it works. Um, that yes, is, is a... They're each a different attack. For only two Um, if you got two swords, you do. Yeah. Yes, action. so it two should weapons. have been 2d6. Yeah, you, don't you can stab, stab. Cool. Yeah. 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 Stab, stab. Um, but one of them but, missed. Yeah. Yes, it did. So, that is a 23, sorry, 25 to hit you. What? <laughs> Uh, I assume you're going to reduce the damage. Yes, I was just trying to think if I'd used it this round because I've used. Oh no, it was the last time. Again. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, yes, um, okay. Somehow I'm going to uncanny dodge. Plus five is eight. Um, plus he's another eight is like sixteen. Um, it's plus like the TikTok where you're like eighteen. Eighteen I reduced I to nine. He's going to gain, gain back Fuck. six points. Oh, God Oof. damn it! Uh, and ah. he, after he just bites Quite down blood. on your neck. Holds you out. Goes, Say bye bye, Daddy. He's let you go. Am I able to just like hold on to the swords that are inside him right now? You make for me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, Guidance! Boy! <laughs> no! Can I can't, you can no, touch? I can't. No, I gotta yeah. touch. I gotta right. touch. No. Oh, fuck <laughs> It's a 13 plus 4. It's a 17. 17. Just to like hold on to the, the swords. swords are still in him. Yes. He lets you go. You just have a hand yep. on the pit. Okay, on, good. On his leg. <gasps> You're just holding on by your fingertips. Hold a rat. Hold a rat. Some more rats. Thank you for reminding me. Go rats. <laughs> the rats miss. Okay, uh, Sash. Okay, um, I'm going to use my. Uh, rod yep. thing. I'm just gonna like be like. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna like. Oh, okay, a little, a little extra help, Mum. Come on. Um, and I'm gonna regain one of my slots. Mm -hmm. And then as a bonus action, I'm gonna cast hex on him. That's the one thing I have as a bonus action. So I can use an action to get my spell slot back, and then I cast hex on him. Cool. Uh, yeah, absolutely fine. Also, do me a just charisma check. Sure thing. See if you can inspire mother. So he hex is like they a d4 penalty, isn't it? No. So hex is I get plus one d6 to all hits I do from. Oh, it's just for you. Oh, it's not. I'm, I'm also, thinking Bane. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, Bane, yeah, also, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm also going to impose disadvantage on some skill, but I haven't chosen it yet. One ability I'm going to give him disadvantage on. Sure. Um, but I haven't decided what yet. Uh, Eleven plus four. Fifteen. 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 You hear the sort of like the faint kind of whispering in the back the of your mind loving, and yeah. okay dear all right what what are you giving him a penalty to uh, let's give it to oh, Dad. <laughs> i can't i uh five give me a, give me a minute because i just don't know okay. what i'm looking at um chill girl i'm just Con saves okay fair enough Okay, so at this point, Jeffrey is hanging, but they're no longer holding on to Vampire Boy. No, they are hanging by fingernails. He does have my two swords inside him, but I am literally like on the edge. How far away am I? 
desperately trying to regain my breath, having been choked out for the past 10 minutes. You 25 feet, you can reach him. Two minutes. I want to take the shove action and push him off the edge. Yeah. Okay. Can you get there? Um, 25, I can, yeah. You can get to there. So you'll be shoving him that way. That's going to be fine. going over Jeff. Great. All right. What do I need to roll? Uh, it's going to be contested strength. Oh my god, I'm so bad at strength. So. <gasps> wait. Oh no, wait. Guidance is a full action. I can't even guide myself. <laughs> All right. Roll. What'd you get? An eight. Got a nine. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. Bonus action. Pure. Uh, disadvantage Pure. in melee range. First, can I do the bonus? Okay, fine. <laughs> Double 18s, that'll yeah, hit. Yeah, okay, um, roll, what's your damage? Uh, six, six points of radiant damage. Fuck! Okay, yeah. <laughs> the, so your, push, your push kind of distracts him, he looks at you more offended than anything else, <laughs> and then the bolt just hits him from behind, he's like, oh, I'm going to kill you next. Uh, Jeff, you're hanging on, first things first, strength saving throw. Yep, you shit. feel yourself slipping. God damn, that's not one of my good ones. That's an 18 though, 18. straight 18. You're, hold on, uh. you can now try and get up. Yep, that's, that's what I'm gonna do, that's, that's gonna be. That's check. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Up, 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 yeah. Oh, this Dex, yeah? Athletics, yeah, that's yeah, strength, yeah. what are you doing? Fuck me. Mm, that's a 12. 12. You're, you're pulling Straight yourself up. Off. You're not going to get yep. up the entirety of this turn, but you're getting up. I'm getting you're like there. your elbows are on. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh you go. Hello. Hello. Uh, um, cool. I'm going to fuck it. Eldritch blast. <laughs> nice. Roll to hit. Uh, 18. Uh, more than that. Cool. Okay. Nope. Oh, where's my. There we go. Uh, six. Seven. Uh, um, no, but not like one, but like six or seven. So that's uh, so 13. Six and then 13. seven. Yeah. Yep. Okay. 13 points of force damage. <laughs> Still there. <laughs> Still there. <laughs> is, what is, is it a bonus action or an action to eat a rat? Because we never really... you've got to reach down and grab it. It's not like a potion. Like it's not, yeah, interact with the object. I don't know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, the worst. Okay. Eat the um, rat! Here's go. Oh, yes. shit. <laughs> he's going to turn to you. Hi! First things first. I'm the realist. Reach out. He's going to try and grab you. Go for it. Do I need to roll a nope. pose? There's no way he's strong enough to lift that dwarfness. Um... <laughs> 23. Oh, no, misses. 23. You're up in the air. Okay. He is going to slowly walk you to the other side. <laughs> is it half moon because he's carrying me? Yeah, and he can still make it. Fuck. Hugo says, uh, that's better. Okay, fine. Oh, you piece of shit. Carry on. Bye. <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> Dexterity saving throw. I get the dick so many times that I get dick NATURAL so 20! Ah! <laughs> 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 oh um, the sort of like the way in which you fall and the alcohol and everything it's a little bit disorganized you're like you're on by like your, your boots at the back what? I'm hanging by my boots? yeah you're on by your boots and you just like manage to swing yourself back and you land you're sitting just on the very edge <laughs> uh, you are technically prone because you're gonna have to get up. That's fine. Next turn, but you're but not, you've not dead. fallen off. Good like job. It. Okay, right. That's his Good entire dice. turn. Sasha. Yo, it's 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 time for more Eldritch yep. fucking blast. Do it. Time with Hex. Uh, fuck me. Um, that yeah. one doesn't hit, but uh, nine plus six does. Just just hits. Just oh. hits. Uh, so that's uh, that plus that. In initiative. Uh, um, oh my I, god, four uh, points of damage. Four I'm just points of damage. Okay. Oh. Terrible. So you send out the first blast, it just catches <coughs> wide, he glances back, turns to you, the second one fires, slams straight in the chest. 
what happens next. Oh my god! You said the thing! You said the thing! <laughs> With my tiny little... I'm just like, just boom! And then like, the the kind of black crackling energy hits. You hear uh, the voice of my glorious mother just be like, this, that's quite enough of that, thank you very much. And just he kind of explodes with eldritch energy. Yeah, the blast hits him. He just <laughs> suddenly, he staggers back. You just have to throw yourself out of the way. I throw just... myself to the left towards Beanie. Yeah, and he yeah. just falls back down this huge cavernous hole in his chest, falls down into the darkness. Gone. The four of you. Somebody help! Drag yourself so you're just Please. about hanging on. I'm gonna go over oh, to where uh, Jeffrey oh, is. Oh god! Uh, it's at this point you realise how actually <laughs> drunk you are. <laughs> As the four of you sit there in this empty, cavernous room, deep in this manner, with nothing to show for your time except almost dying to Reinhardt von whatever his name was. <laughs> More like Reinhardt. Er, Erdendorf. Reinhardt Erdendorf. von Erdendorf. Erdendorf. And with <sighs> this experience behind you, that's where we end the session. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Very nice. Well done. You're out of the right. rail. <laughs> well, that My went are going to a be bit pissed. longer than I was expecting. I apologise to everyone for that. I mean, Charmini did say what if you finished time? in two hours, yeah, you'd be would very be shocking, impressed. Yeah. I mean, there was... What is time? Yeah. I time is what I the train schedules run on. Mm. Um, but thank you, everyone. Matt, have you enjoyed your... Thank you, David, for running a great little game. <laughs> it was a great little session. Yeah, David, and no one really died. No one really I mean, enjoyed. oh my God, I could taste it. <laughs> Thank you, for the bullshit, thank you for bullshit rolls. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway. Fail on the deck save or like anything like that, you're just gone. I... Yeah, that would have been it. He no, with my no swords save, in him. no hope, just dead. My sword. Mm. Good sword. Yeah. Good it's okay, we'll give you some and you can work that off as well. But thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank, thank you. you David. And thank you, David. We'll see you on the next thank one. Thank you, David. Oh, it's going to be really special. Gonna bye. Be Halloween. Yeah. Oh, bye, 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 b